All right, what's up, everyone? Um. Oh yeah, I have Mechanic B now. I don't like Mechanic B a whole lot. It has Repair Matrix instead of Repair Kit, but it lacks Needle. It has Rent Cannon. 20 heat, 10 heat. Range 7, range 7. Ignores 15 armor, ignores 15 armor. Kind of the same. Uh, gains more damage. Doesn't have the healing, but has the repair matrix. Huh. Interesting. Not sure about this. Maybe we try mechanic B. Hmm. It's kind of the same, right? Except rain cannon actually does more damage, but you cannot split it up. But you can do more internal damage. It applies three instead of two. This is one AP, this is two, obviously. Hmm. We don't get repair kit anymore, which is a problem. Uh, it doesn't only repair, but it also removes all status effects. So we don't have a cleanse anymore by default. I think I still like my mechanic I, uh, my mechanic A. Uh, going very hard as usual. And die a whole bunch. Perfect. Hmm. See what we roll. Auto cannon, Achilles module. Uh, all weapons apply one internal damage of dealing damage. Interesting. Uh, I can attach this to the magnetic cannon, and this hits twice, applies interference, mobilize, and now also internal damage. Not bad. Focus laser, 17 to 24. What? Really? Has 1 AP? That's insane damage. Holy crap. Mm. 8 corrosion upon dealing crit. Huh. Mm. Hmm. I don't think I want the auto cannon. But this focus laser, it smacks. It also cost me 145 mana, which is like half my starting. But holy crap, it's like 20 damage times 2. Like my highest damage weapon right now is a broadsword. Uh, 2 AP and it costs, like it does 30 damage, right? This laser does like... 30% 30 per, uh, 30 more damage, kind of, for 5 more heat. And I can give it to someone else, like the Acid Cannon. It's sometimes not useful, so you can have like the Focus Laser instead. Or maybe even the Mechanic, if he doesn't want to Needle, he can actually smack. I think I have to take this. Uh, I think I want to give it to the Mechanic for now. He can like mix and match with the needle and the and the focus laser and also uh, the focus laser does 30 heat a turn, right? So he can repair kit every other turn to like cool down and stuff. I don't think I want to spend upgrades yet, so let's go to the first one. I think I've been too greedy with the first one usually. Uh, like I'm, <laughs> I still don't know what this prototype means. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do more easy missions than, like, normal or hard, at the start at least, like the first three or something. Because hard missions really are hard. Slasher. Hmm. Three armor breach for one AP. Mm, meh. Give it a solid meh. Well, heat is above 40, plus min and max damage. I mean, that's fine to, like, equip for now. It's uh, It doesn't cost me anything, right? It doesn't have downside. Yeah, it's probably fine to equip. Hmm. I'm gonna stick to an easy one. Like, I'm not really in love with any of this. 
I think I give uh, I get the bias steel frame. Give it to someone. Um, I've like mo uh, second move on someone for free base play and then adaptive. That's fine. Uh, destroy the maintenance station. All right. Okay. We have X's here, meaning there's nothing there. Go with the Paladin first. Um, just go to the wall here. Uh, this is a suppressor field, alright. Hmm. Oh, the Brigandine also has second move. I always forget about that for some reason. In my mind, only the Paladin has second move by default. Uh, apparently, that's not the case. Mm. Right side, left side. Oh, this does get revealed. Interesting. Okay. Well, obviously, we go left. Uh, we have a squad here. Because we see the accurate already. So we should get ready for that. I don't think we want to open this up yet. Right, we're gonna go through here and here, most likely. Oh, I alerted them here? Hmm. That's not really what I wanted, but it's only a heater and an accurate. So it's whatever. I didn't think I would alert them through the wall. I am not really sure on the how that happens. He has 4 armor right now, right? He has 12 armor because he stands in the suppression field. There's another suppression field here. Armored spider coming down and I need to reach this one. Reinforcements will come in 8 turns. Alright, broadsword of fool. Uh, he's not he's not really blocking me. Hmm, do we go up? I think we go up. There's another squad. Uh, there's usually two squads. It also tells me that opponent squad will awaken in soon in one turn. Meaning there's another one. For sure. Um, I think standing here in the armor is fine. Uh, he does 7 to 9. It's fine. I don't think we care. I want to needle him. Uh, because he has so much armor. I also kind of want to acid him, but I can't really reach. Let's just needle him. Oh, that's not... Huh. I can't see him. I can, like, remove the wall, I suppose, and then I can see it. No, I still can? That's rigged. I got shenanigans. All right. He's a heater, so he's just heating me up. It's actually really dangerous. There's the second squad. It's just two bulwarks. They are like kind of not doing anything. It's fine. Uh, I need to cool down the brigand then. And I want both status effects on the heater. Hmm. If I go here, do you get ca caught by this? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you really need to get away from the heater though. I think I'm just gonna broadsword this on the way. And then... Oh, I don't have second move because Armored Spider removes my second move. Okay, that's that's fair. I want to get away uh, around here. Also forgot you had second move. I want to get away from the heater. Like, he is fine health-wise, but not fine heat-wise. I think I'm gonna give this one acid on the way out and then I'm gonna move up here. Get away from the squad. I don't want to fight the bulwarks here. I want to like uh, remove the repair station and the uh, fabricator first. Stop the stop the reinforcements and stop them fabricating stuff. Seems more important. But I do want him. Fuck, I can't see him. I need him to have one more debuff in some form, either needle or or uh, cor like either corrosion or internal damage. He needs something. Um. I mean, I guess I can do this one. That's fine. They killed some. He's like a little bit vulnerable, but he has 8 armor. He's actually immune to those, so... He actually can just stand there and tank them, if he wants to. 
Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the repair station first. Otherwise, the, like the damage I do to other things is kind of no, uh, it's kind of pointless, right? Hmm. I should have healed him. Nah, he, he's not in damage. Yeah, he, he can just hard tank them. I think he actually does stand just here and like he applies the, the stuff to them and then tanks them inside the field, right? It's fine, he can solo them. He will never take damage. They cannot reduce his armor since they're bulwarks. Uh, however, this paladin in a lot more trouble. Um, I think I'm gonna broadsword this and then Fuck me. I totally thought I had more moose. Oh, the laser has less range, huh? Let's see how it is. Hmm, he almost died. I mean, I can I can heal him now, which is fine. But that was a little bit too risky. I shouldn't I shouldn't have been so aggressive. I don't think. Okay, let's let's remove this before it gets online again, or like before it spits out another one. This one dies to dots. Um, he's out. He doesn't really have the the heat to sustain it, so he's he's just gonna sit for now. It's fine. He sits here and tanks it. It's at six. Hmm. I can block him here, right? I can go here and then go here. What's your move range? Seven. Yeah, also. All right. It's still fine. Mm, focused laser doesn't go through armor, so it's probably better to just needle. 25. I can't reach here. Uh, shit. He doesn't have second move, I need to keep that in mind. Um, he has 7. You can go around and still shoot me, can't you? Fuck, he might actually die here. Oh no, I, I can pin him down, right? And then move, yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, now he can't die. Very good. Hmm. You go up here too, so you're in range to heal him next turn. Uh, you have four armor from this, so you have four armor by default. Uh, four armor is still enough to face tank them, so let's bring him up as well. This should be pretty over. Uh, it wasn't very clean, like, I had a chance of dying. But it was fine. Uh, he's got some dots. I mean, you should pretty much always kill here, right? Yeah, he dies to dots now. Okay, cool. And he's dead next turn. Very good. Mm. Mm -hmm, okay. Good, easy first mission. Nothing special. Got what we wanted. Uh, we have a razor. Nice. I think we're gonna keep take the razor. That's very good with armor. And it doesn't cost heat, which is very significant. So you can do stupid things. There's another razor. So we can actually choose between Achilles and Morana. Um, 2 turn cooldown, 2 AP, doesn't do damage, but always crits. Uh, applies 25 corrosion, 10 armor breach. 
Interesting. I think it's still easy mission time for the second one, maybe even for the third one. And then we can look to go into the normal ones. Scavenging tool, 20 meta per completed mission. Pog. Power management, uh, minus 4 heat each turn. Hmm. I feel like I should not go greedy with scavenging tools. I need 3 missions and then it pays off every mission after that, right? But like power management just gives me more combat power in general. And like any mission I lose, uh, the campaign just ends. So, hmm. Not sure how greedy I, I can be, really. Hmm. I want the Viper to have second move or the Brigand then to have second move? Oh, he has by default. Or the Mechanic. Uh, I'm sacrificing 5 max hull, which is fine. Yeah, I don't think I care about this at this point. And he gets the crit chance, I'm pretty sure. Crit chance and crit damage. Now. I can save up for upgrades, or I can like buy one or two upgrades, or I can go scavenging tools for max greed. I can actually buy, buy three of those, right? But it's gonna not pay off for a while. That makes me weaker for now. I wonder if this is even worthwhile. I, I, it doesn't feel like it. Like, I... The farthest I've gotten is to mission 7. <laughs> So this feels like uh, really greedy, and at the same time, it doesn't like. There's also the opportunity cost, right? Um, where I spend my money now, and I'm I don't have access to better missions for quite a while, and better missions give me a lot of stuff also. Like um, whenever something cool shows up, I don't have the option to go for it, which is a pretty big downside if you ask me. Um, I want to buy a power management, I think. Minus for heat each turn for everyone seems very good. I wanna buy this. You have like those four squad upgrades, uh, which is, have like a global effect. I can sell something and buy another power management for minus eight heat at every turn for everyone. I could like sell the adaptive sensors if I wanted to, for the crit chance, or I don't wanna get rid of plating. I could also save in case something good comes up next turn. I think that's better, honestly. And now I can choose between Razor or like between Morana or Achilles module. I have one internal damage. This weapon seems kind of interesting, kind of not. Eh, let's do this one. This is also an easier mission than download data. Which is also a consideration. Uh, do we f do we go in here? I think we go here. Okay, that was like the possibility that there's a squad here and they get first move on me, which would have been bad. But I still want to explore, right? Okay, it does seem like this will reveal after the first turn. Huh. It's kind of interesting. I think we're just going to breach this wall. Why do I have like double... Those circles? Oh my god, they're annoying me. Um, those circles seem like a bug, to be honest. And this circle as well. I don't know why they... Like when they appear and when they don't, but... They are really obnoxious to me. I don't know. Alright, let's open it up. Opponent's quite alerted. We have a spider and an acrid. Acrid is the scaling unit that like gets more and more damage the more it hits. Uh, apply internal damage. Very good. <laughs> the circle. <laughs> uh, do you reach? Uh, yo. Magnetic. Nope. One out of range. 
Mm. That's the second move, need to remember. It's the spider. So he only has this one move here. Hmm. Right. Repair station is, is down. The repair station repaired this one. It's like. Uh, Alright. Throwing some acid on the way. Manufactured another one on its way out. It's kind of annoying. I feel like I need a needle to finish this one off. Focus on one. We can kill it here, yeah. The objective is out, there are five more on the field. We have three here, there's one squad which has two units. It's awakened now. Do we see it? It's here, okay. It's no problem. Should be, ooh, that was a crit. 46 hull crit, nice. Mm. This one is gone as well. Cool. Oh, three are left. Wait, three are left? Oh yeah, there's this Akarid running around. Totally forgot about that. It does what? Seven to eight damage? Sure. Can I focus laser it? No. Man, the focus laser range is so low. And yet, I can move in range and just kill it so it doesn't get a shot off. Seems fine. Two left. It's an Orion. Wow. In an easy mission on day two, there's an Orion. Huh, crazy. This is a heat unit. Um, ignores 10 armor, applies 2 plasma residue, which increases the heat by 20 every turn. And once I'm overheated, every stack deals 5 damage, ignoring armor. So, he's like shooting, and once you get overheated, it, like its damage is pretty significant. Hmm. I don't think there would be an like an advanced unit on the first mission. That seems kind of crazy to me. I like the second mission, I suppose. Oh, you don't have a second move because you're damaged. Ah, uh, uh, let's pretend I knew that. He doesn't die. Oh, he doesn't have a dart on him. Ah, whatever. He's almost dead. Mm -hmm. Alright, I wanna use my focus laser for once. 18 damage. Hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have the razor now, very good. Uh, crisis cooling, focal sensor, pair compound is reasonable. Another power management, it's a normal mission download data. 
Man, that's so risky. All weapons cooldown is reduced by one turn, minus 30 max heat. Liquid cooling 2. Repel the assault and hard. Wow, the rewards for this are so good. But, like, this is such a hard mission. Diffuse sense at 2. Wow, that's also so good. Activate the defense. I've never done this mission before, so I actually don't know what it does, but both of them are also pretty solid. Hmm. And not like, I still have a hard time judging how strong we are and what we can handle. And I die frequently for it because I overestimate it. Uh, filter module 1. Uh, fusion gun. Two interference and plasma residue. Tumble compound. Each unit. Enemy units gain 8 heat per status effect each turn. Hm. Oh, that's a Ren Cannon too. Ooh. 17 to 20 damage, ignores 25 armor, 4 internal damage. Has a crit of 25. Yo, yeah, sir. It's pretty good. I want something that deals heat damage, but... This one, like, applies to debuff. Oh, it applies 10 plasma residue. What the fuck? 10 of it. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Yo, KL, what's up? How are you doing today? Hmm. A razor requires 5 armor. I think you have 6 armor on someone, right? No? We have 4 armor here? So I think we're gonna swap around the um, the armored plating onto the Viper. He has 7 armor, now he gets the Razor. So he can use Razor. Uh, we can use internal damage on him instead of corrosion. I like the option. Uh, option seems fine. To apply corrosion when we want it. Hmm. Now it's the question, do we buy a cannon? Probably not. Is there any use for fusion gun? Um, we would have to sell the module for this. 10 plasma residue, but it takes up so slowly. Once it's... Uh, this feels like a combo weapon. Like... Once a unit is overheated, this deals insane damage. Like, this stuff deals 50 damage every turn. But it doesn't overheat units very fast. It, it takes like a lot of turns to overheat someone. So you need like something to overheat them and then you can use this and then you can nuke them. Hmm. I don't think any of this is worthwhile. We can so think about an upgrade here. Hmm. Five heat is fine. We can go for the Paladin first. We don't have minus heat yet, so this one is a little bit questionable. Or we go for the Mechanic. Hmm. Glad the Saturday stream is early so I can actually watch it. Hey. Having no food at home? Oh no. The medical mask only shit screwed me up. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you don't have... Wait. <laughs> I don't understand the, like, the correlation to food. The interference is interesting. Uh, from this one, right? Yeah. The weak effect is pretty solid. But it doesn't deal damage on it by itself, right? I would take it if it wasn't so damn expensive. It costs me 160 matter. <laughs> Cloth masks aren't allowed in grocery stores anymore. You need to have medical masks now. Ooh, really? Yowzer. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so you went to the grocery store and you... You, like, couldn't go in anymore? That sucks so much. <laughs> Shit. Can you like order something? Like just for like for the weekend or something? 
Not having food sucks. How did you miss that? Eh. I miss a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Hmm. I think I want to do the, rep the repair compound for now. The Amish Red is alright. Maybe Christ is cool. Meh. Sensor for the crit chance. Meh. Do we do an easy... Like, we could try a normal mission. The power manage... But it's download data. I always die horribly at download data. I don't know. <laughs> the ones I've ordered haven't arrived yet. Oh, you mean the mask? Oh no, I was talking about food, like... <laughs> don't know dead, I know, right? I was talking about food just for the weekend, you know? If you can't, like, go shopping right now. Mm. Man... We're gonna die on this, aren't we? <laughs> Alright. Hmm. The upgrades aren't really doing anything. I can do the two hull each turn, kind of. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to hold on. Okay, what are we doing? Do we go easy and just take the repair compound and take the guaranteed mission? Or do we play it a little bit riskier? If we play it riskier, we would do download data. Uh, I don't think we do a hard mission. Even though this liquid cooling and the scouting equipment both are very strong. Like, for... Especially this one. Liquid cooling too. Minus 20 heat every turn. Repel the assault hard. Eh. Not very convinced. Let's do another. Yeah, yeah, do another easy one. I don't feel like tanking the run yet. Alright, we have X's here, X's here. There's actually something to the left, I think. Why are there two X's and none here? Can I not see further? Ah, okay, I couldn't see further. We have heaters here. So there's a squad there. This is like a, a cooler. Oh, I can actually see it. <laughs> Through fog of war. The cooler is cool. Uh, is there nothing? Apparently there's nothing here, but also no X's. My park team in the corner, perfect. Okay, I don't want to activate this one yet. Want to activate it next turn? <laughs> Wall X? I know. That's how we roll. Squad, double spider heater. Nine hull? Oh, I have interference. Fuck this. Destroy all infected nodes. Infected node applies interference each turn. To all of my units? Oh my god. It's terrible. Oh my goodness, his armor too? I didn't even check. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh. Interference messes with me so hard. Yowzer. Okay. Hmm. They all have armor. He's so useless right now. 
It has 6 to 7 damage and everything has 8 armor. <laughs> Perfect. At least you can tank the heat shots, so that's something, I guess. Alright. Acid cannon. Do your thing. The needle is gonna have to carry me. Damn. Global interference to all of my units? That, that's in, that's incredible. Like how is this how is this legal? Uh they awakened, huh? It's a spider and a prat. Praetorian. Two corrupted data. Deals one damage per stack, ignoring armor. Oh, this actually ignores armor instead of corrosion, which like doesn't go through armor. Interesting. I can remove um, interference from one unit if I sacrifice the needle. But I feel like needle is so important to just hit right now. How much damage do I do? 17 to 20. And he has 8 armor. So I do 9 to 12. And he's at 12. <laughs> so there's a chance of killing him, but it's unlikely. I think I'm just gonna acid cannon him. And now he's dead, that's good. I think uh, Needle is more important against them. You're super pointless. Uh, just don't even do anything. Just sit there and look pretty. Ah, uh, this mission is like, actually very hard. And this is the easy mission, right? Like... <laughs> if you ex if you hit something that... Like, counters you, or like, is, is really good against what you're doing. And you like... I don't know. I feel like this game requires a lot of knowledge. And I don't have this kind of knowledge. I think I want to heal this one, get the interference off. Hmm. You don't have armor, right? It's your shooting range. Insane. Hmm. Thinking. Yeah, I still want the corrosion on you, I think. Oh, you don't have a second move. Mm. Okay. Repair this one. Does have a second move now. Interesting. <laughs> it survives with one. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Uh, six to seven. It will never damage it, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Why is every one of, why why is every single one of my units so pointless? Six HP, nine HP, they awaken. What are you? Your suppression field. The cooler here. <laughs> uh alive at one. He really needs to get out of here. He has a second uh, move turned off, so he only has one move here. Mechanic. Kinda need this skill, and then what? This also kills, right? Okay. So we only have this one and this one. You have 18 armor. Oh, you have... Uh, plus 4 from this one. You have 14 armor by default? What? Armored plating plus 8. Oh my god. That's an armor plating level 2, right? Interesting. This is what the upgrade look, looks like. I don't think I've seen this before. <laughs> what the fuck is this unit? Um, we just go left side. Like, we do need to find the node still. And we don't know where it is. It could be here or it could be here. 
Well, we don't know. Right, we don't actually see a door here. So the guess is it's to the right. So we might actually want to go over there. You have what? 7 to 9. Uh, you have no armor, so it will kill him if we let it. I can pin it down, right, with a brigand in. Do you have second moves? No, it's disabled. So you actually need to wrap around. Also, I cannot get in range of this one. It doesn't do any damage, but it pins it down here, so I don't get hit by it. Do this and then block for it. We don't have second moves. Huh. I guess we can just go here and shoot it. Apply some dots. Uh, it's out of range, it's pinned down, so it can't do anything. Next turn, we have our heal back. Yeah, bulwarks are coming as well, huh? Where's my armored unit? It's the Viper. Where's the Viper you? You have seven armor. So you can tank them forever. Maybe I should have gone down with a Viper in anticipation of that. Probably. The mechanic really needs to heal, like, something. Imagine if you didn't have interference in you for the entire mission. I know. Like, interference is so bad. Minus 35% damage hurts so much. And then if they have armor on top of that, it's just... It feels impossible. Hmm. I need him to block the bulwarks. Somehow. But... He is also on the run. I can like pin down this bulwark, but then I can control him. How much damage do you do again? 5 to 7. Two corrupted data though. Uh, temporary effect. It takes down, right? Like the stacks take down, but still. Paladin is so vulnerable. It's 14 armor. Um, does he, do you have a second move? You do. You are weakened, but... You can hit it and then move. And then go here. What's your range? We have six. Uh, I'm gonna pin this one down and then he cannot walk around. So he's gonna be safe here. And then I'm not sure about this one, but at least it doesn't kill anything. Uh, we're gonna deal with it somehow. So we do this and then... Repair kit the paladin so I can actually do stuff. I could have done it differently, I think. Maybe there was a world where I walk up and then walk back. No, he only has four moves right now. Yeah, but maybe there was a world where I could remove the debuff before I hit to get more damage. Maybe. Don't know yet. Hmm. Alright. Immobilized for two, immobilized for one, uh, three, not in range. Okay, only this one hits me. And you are gonna go down here, right? The thing is, the Praetorian is gonna stack it on him, right? Like, the the dot might be bad. Does Razor just smack it? Actually, Razor just kills it. Okay. You can go here, I guess. Whew, okay. Reinforcements in six turns. That's the dot. Yeah, it does take down. He can tank a lot of damage from this dot, I think. Like, he's not in any danger. I'm not sure how to deal with the armor, though. <laughs> that's gonna be the hard part. Well, that's gonna be a lot of hard parts. Um... Can you shoot me here? No. I'm gonna be here and pin him down as well. So, I think he's gonna cycle between them and then control them both. And then I'm gonna deal with him somehow. Not sure how. Like, stack acid, probably. 
That's probably my idea. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't have armor breach. This is where would, armor breach would come in handy, huh? Uh, I don't really want him to hit my paladin. What are you gonna do? Whew, that was a crit. Nice. Uh, you hide. We still need to get to this thing. And we don't want uh, reinforcements to appear. Oh no, he was free? How was he free? Huh? Didn't he have, uh, didn't I check and he had like one more turn off? Immobilize on him? Is that not how it works? Is it at the end of every turn that it takes down? No, right? Is it at the end of my turn? It had to be, right? Oh yeah, it's at the end of my turn because dots also take down at the end of my turn. And my dots take down at the end of their turn? Question mark. If I deal damage with internal damage, right? I hit them, they take down at the end of my turn. So presumably Immobilize also takes down at the end of my turn. So that's very misleading then. What happens if I apply one Immobilize? Does it just not do anything? I'm so confused. Hmm. Well, I can pin him down here, which I probably should. Then it can go here. I need to go to the right side, but <laughs> I'm not really sure how realistic that is. Hmm. This is always gonna happen. He needs the dots, otherwise he will never die. And then what? Not sure. We just go back into this room and hide. It doesn't feel like winning, does it? It feels like not losing immediately. Yeah. I think what he does is Try to walk over. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try to pin him down. Go here, heal, and then he moves to not get hit. I think he wants to move over here eventually. He's fine, right? Because he has armors also with like this this thing. Yeah. He needs to find the thing because before reinforcements appear. I think if reinforcements come in, um I'm royally screwed. This one takes 48 damage every turn. <laughs> okay. Twenty-five heat, huh? How much do you do? Uh two to three. I mean Now, he has one interference. Does it wear off and he hits for 4 to 5 or not? Because if he hits for 4 to 5, then my mechanic might die to it. Hmm. I can just block the door, right? Can I not? I can, I can go here and you can block the door. You can block it in. 
But then the bulwark might like chase me here. Let's block him from chasing me. Oh, he walks away. Interesting. Didn't think about that. That might have actually been dangerous if he was in range to kill me. That's logic you can't argue with. If he was able to kill me, it might have been dangerous. What are you? Repair gel. Cool. So it must be up here then. Hmm. I have a heal ready. For 8. I have two bulwarks which are murdering me. I can make Natic Cannon pin it down here. Which I should do. And then... I can kill it next turn. Okay. Or I can just... No, I want to Acid Cannon this one. Okay. X seems weird. Yeah, I agree. XCOM 2 has a similar problem. Hmm. I've never played XCOM 2. I only played uh, XCOM 1. I can destroy this one. This one next turn. Have a shortcut. Info reinforcement spawn in one turn. That's so bad, isn't it? Infected node. Where are the reinforcements? In zero turns? Okay. He's almost dead. Hmm. I need to catch up over here. Oh, I didn't move my paladin. Fuck. No units detected. Where are they at? One here. One here. Okay. What is this one? A Praetorian. Oh no, another armor. Goodness. I think I'm gonna retreat him to this healing tile. Uh, armored units. I have three moves, right? They don't like act the same turn they, they come online. So I have like some freebies here right now. Where I can be positioned at least. How much move do you have? Five. I really want to get to the stupid node. I need to get there before three turns, right? But I'm worried that if I move him up here, then I get cut off and he's not savable. So I'd rather not die. That seems preferable. I don't have a uh, heal ready now. Did you actually play XCOM off stream? Ah, uh, a little bit. Not too much. Um, <laughs> the RNG is a little bit frustrating. I feel like it's a good game though. Hmm. I wanna heal this one. Start stacking. And I want to get over here and up here. Those are my two 
Like moose. Hmm. Plus two interference. Well, it doesn't say how much, right? So it makes sense. Give him the needle. Can shoot me right now. If I go here, he can't, right? You need to have shotguns up. <laughs> that is fair. Can't really argue with that. <laughs> Bonin squad alerted. Wait, they're infected. No, just alerted. Okay, I guess. Does it do more damage? What's 25%? 10. So it deals 12 to 13, and this deals 11 to 15. So this is better. Uh, it costs more heat, though. Do we care about heat? No. So we do this one. Oh my god, I'm too late, aren't I? Can I reach? No, I can't. Oh, I can't shoot it from here. Whew. Saved. It dies before a reinforcement spawn. Hopefully. I don't know if it does, but I hope. Okay. Destroy all enemies left. This one. I just want to point out that this was an easy mission. I, isn't this crazy? How this was an easy mission and it's like <laughs> I I always died so hard. And the other easy mission was a walkover. I, I I didn't even have to think. I just click random buttons. Also, this repair drill is really cool. Like I like the nodes on the map that actually encourage you to go towards locations. That's really cool. Okay. Wasn't this a hard one? No, no, this was an easy one. <laughs> this was very easy. <laughs> uh, I, w I was like co contemplating doing this download data, but I opted for the easy one with like this reward only. Like the rewards aren't very good, but I was like, mm, don't want to die. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do we have? Um, heavy reactor, plus one AP. That's very cool. There are scavenging tools again, taunting me. B74 reactor, one AP, six heat at end of turn. Hmm. Interesting. Slasher. I feel like I do need more AP, right, eventually. But I'm I'm not really sure if I can handle it yet. Does the razor have um Hmm The Razor doesn't have a cooldown. So I can razor twice. I could build like hmm. Who has an AP upgrade? I could build a tank with a razor who can shoot twice. That would be kind of cool. Since like I can I don't really care about heat or max heat if uh, I don't use heat, right? So I can have a tank who only has a razor, and he shoots it twice, and otherwise just stands there and takes it. But it would be better if I only needed one of them, so I can make them tankier. So maybe like with this one, the mechanic, where he gains 1 AP by upgrades, would be better. You could take this, or even the max hull would also be okay. But that would mean he would have to skip this one, right? The all allies in 3 tile range minus 10 heat. I feel like this is still very good. Anyone else with like an AP upgrade? 
No. Where's the last one? The Paladin. I don't think he has one either. No. Hmm. He can even get two upgrade? Yeah, that is true. Like, he could get this one, but I feel like level three upgrade is so far in the future. Hmm. We probably always want this one. The second move range is very strong. <laughs> All his level 2 upgrades are very good. This is like the repair matrix by default. This is 1 AP minus 40 max heat. It is kind of cool. The thing is, we cannot really afford both right now. I could give the mechanic, um... Hmm. I don't know. I could give the mechanic just one more AP, which he can use pretty well with his one AP weapons. But, like... Minus max heat or plus heat at the end of turn seems very wrong on him. He has minus 10 per turn and then... However, yeah, he is healing a lot, right? So every second turn he only uses 1 AP for weapons. But then every other turn he uses 3. So that's at least plus 30 heat. I don't feel like he can realistically use this very often. Like he does 2 turns and then he's kind of out of heat and then uh, this whole upgrade is kind of useless. The armor shredder we should equip on someone. Like anything with armor is very, very hard to deal with. Give it to him, he double hits. Hmm. We can also have the internal damage for now, right? That seems cool. He double hits and he applies shredding and uh, internal. And the compound can be on the Viper. If we were to remove the acid. Hmm. Can just give it to you for now. Hmm. It does overheat him quite a lot. So it would be better on the Viper, right? Because uh, he can just use um, Razor and doesn't care about heat. Hmm. Biosteel armor. And you can get the acid. Yeah, okay. Do classes A and B have different upgrade paths? No, they're the same. Uh, they have the exact same upgrades. They just have different starting uh, things. Like different starting... What are those? Weapons and utilities. Hmm. I still don't really know where to go. Let's look at what we can get from missions real quick. We only have normal ones now. Oh no. No more easy ones. Alright. The easy times are over. We have normal download data. I want to avoid that. <laughs> I'm so scared of download data. Um, we have destroy the fabricators with a needle, armor shredding, focal sensor. Those are kind of pointless, but it's money, I guess. Then we have repel the assault with prototype. I think like this is very spooky. I still don't know what it does, but it's spooky. Mm. Destroy the maintenance station. With a diffuse sensor, which is good. Improve diagnostics. I like that. Acid infuser. Hmm, okay. Face cannon. 1 AP, 7 armor breach. That seems pretty good. Uh, this little one turn cooldown. I see. So you need like a 1 AP weapon with it, otherwise you waste 1 AP. That's fair. We can manage. I think we're gonna do this one. Um... We should probably try to get as strong as possible, since we're doing normal missions now. I'm not sure if anything makes us stronger here. <laughs> Scavenging tools. Hmm. Repaired for free after each combat. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, we can do minus heat, right? That's pretty, pretty strong. Or we can do armor breach. Immobilize up and dealing damage. It's very cool. 
Almost one status effect is also cool in his eight armor at the end. Nice. I feel like we should take this, right? Hmm. The thing is, is he gonna be our armor unit? So we could do we could do eight armor at the end and give him razor. So he doesn't really need minus heat if he goes this way. He only needs wait, minus five heat would be very strong right now. But if he goes like super tank with razor and like no heat whatsoever, then he would take the two armor breach, which would be decent. But you want this on a burst weapon, right? Not on like a razor. Hmm. Who's actually gonna be ending up our tank? Three armor. I mean, you get it early, but it's mediocre. I'd much rather get the second wave. A uh, second move. Ignore 15 armor or the crit. Hmm. I still haven't figured out builds for those. For all those units, I feel. 20 max health. <laughs> This is like armor breach, non-burst weapons, all weapons. I feel like he wants to repair two hull each turn. And then do non-burst and non-burst, like those two. Apply corrosion and armor breach. I feel like he is gonna be our tank. That's fine. And then I wanna go here. What am I removing for this? The Biosteel. Hmm. I feel like the Biosteel is better right now. I feel like this upgrade makes us worse unless we replace this with something good. And we don't really have anything good right now. So let's just uh, do the mission. Okay. Bummer. Yeah, I agree. I would like if they had different upgrade paths or something. It's kind of like all the upgrades are kind of viable. Like the upgrade paths are not... Uh, you have like two or three options, so they're not very varied. But at least every single upgrade is like kind of viable and you can choose, which I like. So at least it has this going for it. But I would like it if like different paths had like, or like different layouts had different, um, uh, different upgrade paths. Okay, at least we're not interfered with for this, for the whole mission. Those are not alerted yet. I haven't figured out their like range yet. Where they alert. Like, I can't really tell. One, two, three, four. I know it goes through walls and stuff. Let's try this. Okay, it seems like four. Holy shit, there are five units in here? It seems like four is their range to activate, huh? Oh, he... shit. Hmm. Alright. There's the fabricate and the repair station. We can break through this, that's fine. There's more here. Hmm, okay. So, they have two heaters, two spiders, and a scorpion. Scorpion is armor breach, but we can remove the armor breach debuff uh, at the end. So it shouldn't be that much of a, a problem. I can like pin down the heater, and then I can like just sit in front of the spiders, forcing them to do nonsense. I, th I feel like I like that. I would have, I would have liked to be here, but sure. The heater has armor, yes. Of course, they always do. Hmm. Okay. You getting pinned down. Wow, look at the debuffs. I hit him once, <laughs> and he has four debuffs. I like that. I feel like this is a good build to go with the plus heat, right? Like, not on this one. But I feel like there's like this... Uh, Squad upgrade that gives him plus 8 heat for every debuff he has. So this would be plus 32 heat every turn. Kinda cool. Like just for free on top. Not bad. Oh, he actually died from that. 
I wonder if I wanted that or if it was like a bait. Might have been a bait, honestly. Okay. Everything onto this heater. Yeah, he's preaching me. <laughs> he's super overheated. The Razor is still not hurting me at least, so that's good. Mm. Mm, I think the Paladin is walking away. Mm, he doesn't have armor. Alright, we can just walk in here, I think. It's fine. He's gonna go away though. Oh, the heater is gone. Where is he then? Can't get heated anymore, so it's probably okay. Oh, the divas. Let's go here. Give him some give him some protection. He can still hit him, but Oh he doesn't. Wait, where are you coming from? Oh my goodness. I didn't realize they were active. Uh, uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, um, what do we have? We have two spiders left, the rest is dead. That's good. We have two scorpions, a bulwark, and an accurate coming in. There's a heater, that's not helping. Um, we need to go over here to kill the fabricator. Hmm. Mechanic doesn't have double move, neither do you. The Paladin is kind of out of this for now. Hmm. How much should we do? 4 to 5. I feel like I should ignore those right now. The spiders, and I should like focus on the others. Scorpion does 12 to 15. Man, those, those things hurt. Hmm. I don't think I can push for this, right? I need to, like, get rid of this room. The thing is that in 7 turns, reinforcements will spawn. That's gonna be really tight. I don't think I can kill them in 7 turns and get over here, through this wall, and kill this. That seems like a stretch. So, we might, like, have to fight one wave of reinforcements or something. Alright. Uh, we're gonna back it up regardless, like, I'm pretty sure. You don't, you don't have second moves, so hmm. you might be in trouble. Hmm. Can shoot any of them. I can repair myself. I probably want the cooldown going. He's gonna have uh, internal damage on him anyways. And he's the only one I can hit and this one is dead, so... It doesn't feel worthwhile. I would rather get a little bit more HP. Ow. Whew. They're hurting. 13 hull. Yowzer. Right. Alright, scorpions need to go. Can I needle him? Yeah. Hmm. At least he's gonna have his heal next turn again. The magnetic cannon doesn't do a whole lot on him, right? Because uh, he's gonna remove debuffs. But at least I can pin this guy down. That seems pretty good. He cannot shoot me here, and he's he's gonna be able to move because debuffs work weirdly, right? He can acid cannon doesn't do a whole lot on him. I have double moves though, but if I move in here, I'm gonna be very vulnerable. They don't have a heater. Can he like walk in here with 23 HP, no armor? 
Um, he is gonna die though, right? Yeah, I would kill him. I think that makes it okay. He can only shoot here. Uh, so I can stay out of his range. He will be dead. He will shoot me for 12 to 15. That's okay. And then he will shoot me for 14 to 15? What? <laughs> well, I guess our paladin dies then. But if he doesn't die, then someone else dies. And I need to. I need him dead. I, I think we just have to do it and then hope they like target stupidly or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Hope for the best. <laughs> what the fuck? Their damage is nasty. Okay. Well, he went for him. So that's good. We have five turns till reinforcements. I can just keep him pinned down. That's probably for the best. And he should be dead now from internal damage and pinning down. He's gonna damage himself with the Razor, but I don't think I care. Alright. And we can heal, but I'd rather get rid of this guy this turn. Okay. And he's gonna shoot me. Fuck. Hmm. I should hide behind him, right? It's fine. Two armored spiders. Alright, accurate. Your time has come. It's gonna die to dots. I'm gonna hit myself a little bit here. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Who do I heal? The paladin? I feel like the paladin needs it, but... Nah, I think I want to remove the debuffs on the viper. So the viper can be super reckless. And I want to move here to get this wall going. Uh, oh, you're free to move, right? This one is dead. Oh, you don't have second move? That was your second move? I don't know. Okay, we have four turns. Maybe we can do it. More spiders. At least the spiders aren't that menacing. As long as we can keep everything else from spawning, uh, I think we should be good. The Viper really needs more movement though, let's be honest. Two turns, huh? Alright. You can move in here and not care. Um, gonna heal yourself. The paladin needs to cool off still, so probably just gonna heal yourself and sit here for now. Shit, I didn't realize he would, like, just ignore me. <laughs> Probably should have, huh? Um... Enforcement's in one turn, huh? And they're blocking me from getting there. I could, like, 
needle those two and then walk around, but then the spiders are gonna jump on my backline. It's probably not helpful. Let's do something like this. The mechanic can take like a two hits. One turn until reinforcements. Don't think we can kill this in time, can we? 30 to 40. <laughs> Hit him for 39. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> well, it was a 1 in 10 to kill him, right? <laughs> Still feels bad. I would have felt better if it dealt like 35 or something. <laughs> he doesn't have a second move right now. Uh, I I really need to get in here to dis to disable that, but like how? I don't I don't know. I can go here and needle it, but then my mechanic is most likely dying. Oh, I can do this right. I can do this one, and then I can send in front here. I don't think it's gonna work very well, but... He has two moves. Do you have the heat? Yeah, you do. can go here and then can go back. I wanna, like, disable one of them. Because they're gonna move around, right? What's your movement range? You can move all the way, also. So... Ah, fuck. If they're smart, they're dead anyways. And there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I can do this, right? So, he's gonna be pinned down. But they can both move around and both hit my mechanic and he dies and there's nothing I can do. So let's hope they don't. They actually don't. <laughs> Wait, they're still spawn? Destroy all infected- oh fuck. I needed to destroy the repair station also. And they spawn on top of me and box me in. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. There's another one? Oh my god. Why is this game so brutal all of a sudden? Like, what's happening? The fuck? And he's healing him, huh? Jesus. <laughs> uh. Do you have two moves? Yeah. I can like acid cannon something on the way out. Actually from here. That's all I can do. They aren't gonna be active yet, but they will be active next turn. He has two moves, right? So that's good. Uh... <laughs> that's all the good news though. Um... can repair itself, so that's something. Or I can kill this. It's probably better. Mm. That's 8. How much do they hit for? 7 to 9. I think I'd rather kill this. Alright, go here. Kill it. This is pinned down. Can it hit me? I can't actually hit me. Well... It might actually survive. Wow, I survived then. Well, this turn. <laughs> this turn I survived. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it. Ah, uh, stupid turn timer thingy. Okay. So. <laughs> that seems reasonable. This needs to go before the next wave spawns. Um. We have Bulwark, we have Orion. Orion is the Plasma Residue. We have Spider. So the Viper is kind of immune to all of them. 
but the mechanic not so much the mechanic is super dead okay at least we kill the repair station and with five left we can like body block a little bit maybe uh, I kind of want them to run as far as possible honestly like the further the better my plan is to get everyone out here and then buy for solos <laughs> as usual um i don't think i can get the mechanic out but maybe like park him somewhere here heal block whatever i don't know i tried to save as many as possible right that's the idea that's one well that didn't last very long, did it? Okay, here's uh, the top prior target. I right. heating actually does something to me. The rest is whatever. Here's what minus tw fourteen heat a turn, um, and plus twenty from the debuff. So I have a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah the reinforcement mechanic is so i don't know it just feels bad right like it's random and then they spawn somewhere and most of the time on top of you and you're sad okay at least i can pin him down like they should be able to deal with this one pretty well Are they moving towards me? Or are they just sitting here hitting me? I wonder. They are just sitting here and hitting me. I feel like if I was closer, then they would try to walk over. This one's dead. That's good. And then... It's still pretty okay, I think. Like losing one mission, it's twenty-five meta. I, they don't. They don't. I don't think there's like a, like a lot of downside to losing uh, units. Like outside of uh, spending twenty-five cash, so it seems okay-ish. Why do you have so much heat? Because you ran through... No. Why do you have so much heat? I don't understand. Oh, you only have minus four per turn. And you've been alive forever. I see. Is he just coming over? I mean, that's... No. <laughs> He's not. Armor seems very strong, huh? I, I don't know. Armor seems very OP. Versus certain enemies, but it likes you can abuse it pretty well. I feel Does he not attack if he has uh... Nope, he just overheats himself, huh? He doesn't give a damn He's just like nope I'm gonna hurt myself Yeah, they just don't care There is Wait, I can't follow up. Okay, well. We have a diffuse sensor, improved diagnostics. This is gonna be uh, quite cool. Like, especially for those situations, right? Where you, like, have to go into safety. And it takes a couple of turns to move away and they, like, move in. And suddenly you have, like, 8 or 10 more hull. It can be uh, quite... Quite helpful. I I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't like want to stain on every unit. But since this is like a global effect, and my global effects are kind of free right now because I have open slots, this seems good. Hmm. Maybe not in the long run, but for now it seems pretty okay. Hmm. Two corrosion upon dealing damage. Hmm. 
the face cannon for armor breach. Alright, heavy reactor, download data. I hate this mission so much. Um, we are at 4 out of 6, so we're kind of surviving. Broadsword. Needle cannon, caravan. This is the prototype mission we're trying to avoid, but it's heavy armor. Oh, I want this heavy armor so badly. This would make me so much stronger. My tank would just sit there. Also, the AP rounds are kind of nice-ish. Improved diagnostics. But it's like the prototype mission. I don't know what it means. Maybe it was just the tier 2 that killed me, not the prototype. I wish last time I got to tier 2, I did a normal mission instead of this one. Because now I don't know if this is dangerous or not. <laughs> but I want to do it, I think. Okay. We have improved diagnostics. Um, I want to take off the late lightweight and... Hmm. What cost him is double move. He doesn't have a double move by default. Maybe he doesn't need it. It's very nice, though. Thermal compound, heavy reactor, scavenging tools back again. Overclock. Hmm. The diffuse would be best on on the brigand end, right? With a magnetic cannon. Uh, the face cannon would be best on the mechanic. Oh, f first of all, I need to repair the mechanic. That's no question. So then, the face cannon would be guess best on the mechanic. Maybe I take the focus laser off. Like, I have not really used that at all, did I? It's nice, but, yeah. And then I have, like, Armor Breach. It does have a cooldown. So there's that. Hmm. I want to switch, switch those around, I think. Uh, like he can have this one for the for the second move, but he gets plus heat a turn. Uh, he heals quite a lot, and this one gets consistently plus twenty five heat, so it's better to have less uh, less downtime on him. And like the minus five hull is like whatever. We can get rid of the uh, the the acid cannon if we want. The, I really like the interference. Kind of sad we don't have it anymore. I can like take off the repair compound if I want. I really want the diffuse sensors in there somehow. We can get rid of armor shredding, right? And give him diffuse. For more oomph. Since we have uh, the mechanic now with uh, the face cannon. He can do this every turn. He can armor breach for 7 every turn. That's that's much faster than this one, right? So we don't really need the armor shred on him. I could like give him the armor shred instead and then like skip the face cannon and just needle. That's also a thing. But I feel that's fine. Okay, let's spend matter on something that makes us stronger. We want to get as strong as possible. There's nothing here that helps us. Heatsink, probably, but eh, not really. The thermal compound, huh? That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Wait, who is the one that, that heals per turn? You have two hull each turn. I think I want that. I have enough for one more upgrade if I want. I can do second move range and then get rid of lightweight and give him armor shred or corrosion. Hmm. Or max hull. Nah, I think I always want the second move eventually. What do you have as first one? Minus heat. Yeah, let's take the minus heat. Okay. 
All right. Time to tank the run. Let's do it. Survive the assault. Three turns left. <sighs> I don't think I've ever survived the assault before, have I? What is this? Uh, it's a repair station with two charges. That's nice. We have open here, open here, open here. Like we are in the middle, and everything around us has has rooms. So we need to kind of decide where to go. I want to fight up here, probably. There is matter. Like, I'm not super concerned with matter. I will pick it up if it, like, presents itself. But I'm more concerned with actually surviving this mission. I don't want to be greedy for it. I don't want to, like, explore everything and stuff. Opponent squad is teleporting. Okay, do we know where? We don't see them, huh? Uh, there's a cooler. Hmm. I really want to fight in this room, I feel. Cooling me down, healing me. That seems good. And I have a lot of obstacles I can hide behind. I feel like this is good. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Since it's kind of free. This is my tank in front. That seems pretty good. I want to open, like, here. Now I want to open here, right? He's gonna open there and then come in here. That's fine. There. Okay. Alright, no, that's what we got. Just survive? I know, right? I don't know what prototype means. I'm so curious. Like, last time we did this, they had, like, insane uh, numbers and really advanced units. They're teleporting in here. They have a hive. What? Early Viper weapon. 10 heat, 1 AP, corrupted data. This one has 135 hull. It's a hive. Manufacturing equipment. F fabricate spider each two turns. Two turns. Huh. Okay, so this is like a spawner, right? Like manufacturer, but a really beefy one. Usually they have like 48 uh, hull, and this one has 135. Oh, it can move? It can move. It's a moving hive. <laughs> okay. Um, armored spider, armored spider. At least we have like some, um, some time before they come in. And it's only a hive so far, so it's not like as last time where stuff was really advanced, like all of them. I can't hit them while they're faced, so there's no point trying. Let's just get in position and then unload on the hive as hard as we can. Oops. Okay. Oof. Wowzer. That was a lot of damage. Did we just one shot that? I feel like we did. How much do we have? You have 6 HP left. Um, 
gonna face cannon that away. And then hit the spider. How do I want to position? Upwards, I feel. Eh, my position could have been better. Okay, the hive is gone. I'm sitting inside the cooler, which is nice. So I'm not really concerned about them hitting me with uh, heating and stuff. I like this, those two charges of healing. But I want to kind of save it if I can. Okay. They have two heaters. Repairman, four spiders. That's not too bad. Destroy all enemy units left, and there are ten. So we have three here, and we have two, four, six, seven here. So this is everything? Okay, that's doable. I'm not too concerned with this one. Oh, I should have, I should have like, reduced the armor or something first, huh? That would have been the smart thing to do. Hmm. I think I want to kill this one. And... You can use your face cannon to reduce its armor. And give him some internal damage. Sure. And he wants to, like, just face tank stuff here, right? He took a little bit of damage. But we are repairing two hull each turn. He's sitting in the cooler. I feel like he can face tank this forever. My paladin? Not so much. Can I get to here? No. I could go here, which is still in cooler range, but then he will walk past me. I think I want to just face tank it. I don't care. Okay. They found their way in. Whew. That's a lot of heating, good sir. Please stop that. Hmm. Gone. This is also cooled. I think I want to be here to block this one from coming in. Kill the repairman. I feel like the mechanic really wants to heal the paladin so he can like participate again. Good acid cannon for interference. I want to move here after I think. To like make it harder for him to hit me. And I can still do this, right? Because Razor doesn't cost me anything. And Razor is so good. I'm still sitting in the cooler, which helps a ton. Ow. Yeah, he couldn't shoot me. Very good. Okay, the repairman should die. They still have two heaters, three spiders. Hmm. How do we want to do that? I feel like I want to do this one. Because he has a lot of damage. I don't want to waste it. Then I can needle... 
Mm -hmm. He has 15, he has 6 left. So Needle is not enough. So I, I might have to like hit him with a broadsword. That's a waste. Well, do what you gotta do. And you're done, but I want to you back in the cooler also. It's fine. Okay. Five left, huh? One first and move. What's your range on this? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to here. So I can send on this tile if I want. This is gone and this is like pinned down. Um. Okay. Bonked. Oh, you can't move up here. Hmm. You can move here, I suppose. Okay. Pretty good. Hmm. So I'm still not sure what prototype means, but it seemed le way less scary than like the other mission we did. So much less scary. That's not actually a comparison, huh? Hmm. Alright, you're dead. Very good, very good. You're not gone yet. Hmm. Okay. One heater left. <laughs> Alright, let him come in here. Mm. Reduce armor. And some internal damage. Razor. You should kill him. All right. We got the heavy armor. Nice. A few rounds. Whew. One more until tier two, where we died horribly last time. All right. Um, you take off the repair compound then? Question mark. How much armor is too much armor? How about 19? Seems like an appropriate amount of armor. <laughs> Eventually, I think I want um, the uh, the removal on him, right? I don't think he gets it by default, no. I want the... Um, what's it called? Remove a status effect. So he can remove um, armor breach by himself. And also like the dot that ignores armor by himself. And like all kinds of stuff. I think that's like a really good... Uh, filler in. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna remove this, probably. And then upgrade, like, the armor plating somehow. Something, something. But I want, like, the status effect removal, so he's, like, less vulnerable to that. And then, he's pretty solid. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't get to raise her twice, but... Yeah, it's whatever. He's gonna have two hull repair. And then go, like, uh, apply eight corrosion and 15 armor breach with his razor as well. That seems pretty good. Uh, or I could go like... How is the crit chance on this thing? Plus 15. Not terrible. Eh, probably not worthwhile. Probably go like non-burst and then... Can either go max hull or non-burst uh, armor breach. 
Seems a pretty good build path. Alright. I don't really need the co repair compound on him anymore, right? He has like two hard repair by default, so we, we can take it. we can give this to someone else if we want to. Improved cooling. Minus 10 heat and plus 20 max heat. Seems pretty good. Evasion. Two, two armor to everyone. Hmm. Kind of interesting. We have open slots, so it would make us stronger. One billion armor. That's the plan. One billion is exactly where I plan on ending up. Hmm. I kind of want the improved cooling. It's only 90. It seems pretty strong. Like, I could get rid of... Hmm. Biosteel on someone. Or adaptive. Crit chance and crit damage. Maybe that. Yes, plus heat. Uh, wait, why do you still have... Oh, you don't have that yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was confused. I can take this off and give him the upgrade for 120 and then give him something else like the repair compound. I feel like I like that. Uh, but he's gonna lose a lot of heat this way. I can take off the adaptive and give him the repair compound. I think I like that better. Minus 5. Oh, this applies heat. Mm. That's awkward. I kind of want the cooling. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth buying though. For 90. Let's see what we get for missions. What would we um what would we get here? Normal scouting equipment. Filter module. Oracle. <laughs> uh good rent cannon. Not so bad. Hmm. Cryo capsules. If damage by overheat, lose 15 heat. Mm. 60 crit damage. That's the laser drill with line attack. That's a liquid cooling. Nullifier. The end of each turn, remove all status effects. That's what I want for my tank. Filter module. If the unit has moves left, 100% crit. Whew. Those rewards. Yowzer. I want those. It's repel the assault, which we just did, but on hard, but without the special condition. I feel like we can do it, right? It is still tier 1, so I think we're gonna do this. So we're gonna grab Nullifier and Crit Chance. He can have 100 Crit Chance with his second move, so he's gonna get rid of Compound, probably. Or like Acid Cannon. And then he's gonna crit people with the Broadsword. That seems good. So what does he want? He's probably gonna go ignore armor then, because he has 100% crit chance anyways. And then 80 crit damage. Like, that's his build. So he goes uh, this one first, right? Yeah, he goes this one first to get rid of Biosteel. So he kinda needs the improved cooling. I wanna buy it now. Hard mission? Yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not gonna have the acid cannon anymore. But I think we're kind of good, like, well-equipped to deal with stuff. We have internal damage for dots. We have, like, armor breach. We have good damage in general. We have, like, lockdown and, like, good damage versus non-armor. And we have a tank. I feel like we're pretty well-rounded. We don't need the acid. Well, I don't want to sell it yet. I want to keep it around. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. What could go wrong? Alright, before, before I do this, I'm gonna need a quick break of like two minutes. I'm gonna be right back.
All right, my body is ready. Let's do it, hard mission. Armored spider, they're already teleporting in, huh? Last turn we last time we had one turn until they did that. We have a suppression field with armor here. Uh, this is a heater. We and also we don't want to fight in the middle room. So we either go. Oh, there's another one. What is this one? Uh, a cooler. Whew. Yeah, I wanna I wanna fight down here. Oh no, it's the circles again. <laughs> I hate the circles. Okay, it's too bad. There's double coolers in this room. Impressive. I don't want to destroy any vaults or anything, I don't think. Okay. Fourteen matter. That's what matters. Collecting the matter. Hmm. Pearman. Some here. Bulwark. Yep. That's a lot of people. And with people, I mean a lot of robots. <laughs> okay. Uh, Viper is just gonna stand in front. But wants to still be on the cooler. I don't think I wanna be here, right? Mm, it's fine, okay. It's not a lot of retreat. I can, like, retreat a little bit. Okay, it's not so bad yet. I feel like um, no prototypes means there's actually no like hive or anything, right? That's what it refers to. I feel like prototype means there's one special unit. And presumably the special unit gets harder as missions get harder. Would be my guess. engage it like this hmm. killed my wall it's just rude there's another squad here accurate hmm he has double moves pinning down the repairman seems good then sit in the cooler Repairman down. And three tell range, so those tells also are cool, right? Not just the outer ones. That's good. Mm. I should have done the face cannon first. That was just bad. But oh well. Shoots me here, shoots me here. That's a scorpion. Nothing really fancy going on. I can't get on board with that. Hmm. He doesn't have second move, so he cannot reach to like re remove armor from this one. The tank is like super free move, right? He he does not care whatsoever. He just walks where he wants to. A little bit like Mondo. <laughs> hmm. This is not the best position, but it let me kill him. But he will get shot here.
Yeah, maybe it wasn't worth 20 damage. <laughs> that was not my best move. Huh? Oh well. Oof. That's a lot more now. 11 enemies on the map. Couple here, a couple here. We have heaters, spiders, armored spiders, accurate, scorpions. Nothing special. Good. Do you have second move? You do, okay. So do those, then shuffle around. Do that. He can just stand in range because he's immune to their damage. Can you repair over walls? You can. Wow. Repair ignores walls, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, you shot already. That's right, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't see that. Interesting. Another scorpion. Normal spider. And three scorpions, huh? Okay. Hmm. Alright. They're breaching me, but eventually I can remove it and he has 19 armor by default. So they need to like breach a lot of armor for it to actually matter. And once it matters I can just remove all at once. So it shouldn't be a concern. I have to be a little bit careful though. Not to overcommit. Right. Top this off. Heater, sure. It feels like a very defensible position and the cooler makes sure that nothing like, that I, first of all, I can shoot forever. Second of all, the heaters are not really doing much to me. I just, it feels very comfortable sitting here and, uh, shit, I didn't reduce his armor first. I keep making that mistake. Also, what's your range? Five. I can move, but I don't want to. He can just sit here. <laughs> hmm. That's all that's left, huh? We have eight enemies on the map. This is two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's all of them. I want to pin this one down. <laughs> Never mind. What I wanted to say is I want to kill this one upright in one shot. That's what I really meant. I mean, I can remove the the debuffs. It's whatever. I, he doesn't do anything any, uh, otherwise anyway, so might as well. Can either kill the spider. How much does a spider do? 7 to 8 damage to one of my backline? Eh, yeah, sure. Let's just remove it. He's still blocked out. Oh no, he moved back after shooting. That's fair. Okay, the scorpions need to go. I cannot let them up for too long. I have four less armor now. Hmm. 
he's interfered with, so he does less damage. Uh, I can go here and shoot him twice. I might actually kill him. 17, not quite. He's still alive, so... Paladin is interfered with. I can just kill the spider, I suppose. And then hit him once, which also won't kill him, but it will set him up for next turn. I need to be careful because they have like a lot of damage by themselves, uh, outside of just armor piercing. Hmm. It's gonna cleanse those debuffs, so there was not much point to do to doing this, but otherwise he didn't do anything. So might as well take like take a little bit of damage on him. He is breached by eight now. Take one out. Um, he can repair over walls as we learn. And now all the breaching is gone, and he has 19 armor again. <laughs> 19 armor. Bonk, bonk. Right. Wow, that was a hard mission, huh? It didn't feel very hard. This is so... I don't understand the scaling yet. Some missions feel so easy and, like, such a walk in the park, and... Some missions feel like impossible. Like, I just get dumpstered. Actually, dumpstered. Alright. Let's, let's let him walk in further so it is, it's, like, easier and he cannot walk away. I, I don't have problems with most missions. I have problems with some missions, and then they just end your run. There is no in-between in this game. You, um, if you fail one mission, you just lose the run and you instantly die. Alright. Also, we're ranking up to tier 2 now. This is the farthest I've ever made it before. And we have Nullifier Filter Module, very strong. So now tier progress is 6 out of 6. Maybe we have one more? Question mark? I know that at tier 2, last time I died horribly. Like not even close, I got I got steamroll. Those are all my items, Jesus. Mm, I think overclocking can go. The adaptive can go now. The armor shredder can probably go. Eh, not sure about the focus laser now. The Acid Infuser can probably go. We can rearrange our Paladin now. Um, I think he can take this upgrade. So he has second move by himself, so he doesn't need Biosteel anymore. So he can take Filter Module. So he has second move, plus 6. And if he has moves left, he has 100% crit. And his Broadsword crits for a lot, so he does like 50 damage with a crit, and he has 100%. And later on, he can pick up plus 80% crit damage, which will be very strong. He still has the repair compound for tankiness, which I could replace with AP rounds for more armor pierce. It's reasonable, but I kind of like the compound right now. And then he needs to change something for the nullifier. Um, the armored plating, right? 16 armor is plenty, and he wants the nullifier to remove all status effects to be actually immune to breaching and to like dots that get around armor. So I don't think anything touches this guy anymore. Mm, anything I want to like toss in there? He's pretty fine. He needs this one for second move. I don't think that's replaceable right now. How about you? If your sensor is nice, second move is nice. Um. You have this one, right? I need to find like a better second move at some point, but for now it's good. Nothing here is worth buying. Acid Cannon, 20 Corrosion, 2 Interference, which is a weak effect. 
Pretty good. Don't think I can use it. The Acid Suppressor, Corrosion and Plasma Residue, and all weapons do plus 10 heat up on dealing damage. Hmm. I would take a good heat weapon right now, but this doesn't seem like it. It doesn't have interference on it, which is probably the best debuff. Also has a cooldown. I could sell stuff for another upgrade. Is any other upgrade worth it right now? I could do this for move range and then um, replace the light white propulsion with something else like armor. Oh, I want to do this with minus hull, right? So you have more heat per turn. That seems better. Hmm. The only other option is like um, tankiness or armor pierce. I feel like tankiness right now. We have like the mechanic with the face cannon to armor breach if we really need to. That's fine. Yo, what's up, Demaxis? Is there a way to abandon a mission? No, there's only abandon run. <laughs> you can abandon the run, but you can never abandon the mission you started. You pick a mission, you go into it, you either die and it ends or you win. Like, there's no in between. <laughs> okay, what do we do? Hmm. Another diffuse. Scavenging nanites. I kind of like them. Brazier. Mm, heat yourself. One damage from this weapon for 20 heat. Up to a maximum of 10. It hits twice. Hmm. <clears throat> this is an, a concept I haven't seen before. In this game. Like, I get more damage the more heated I am. Hmm. Kind of interesting. So you can gain, like, more max heat, right? With, like, a heat sink, I can get plus 60 max heat or something. So, hmm. It still doesn't seem great. It needs a lot of setup, and being max heat is really dangerous. Like, being maxed out. If some heater hits you, then you take a bunch of damage. I don't know. It seems... Eh. It seems questionable. Mm, liquid. Biosteel armor. Another nullifier. Ray gun. Deployable cooling. Meh. Hmm. Nothing I really want. So let's pick something that's easy. The infected node is actually pretty hard. Because it gives you interference every turn. I think the maintenance station is the easiest. Or the fabricators. This gives me more matter. Module. Cooldown is reduced by one turn. Another needle. A suppressor. The nanites could be helpful someday. And maybe a new use of nullifier or something. I don't really want the brazier, but whatever. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, destroy all the infected modules. Oh, you're my tank with... You're the only one that doesn't have a second move. You must feel so left out. Everyone is zooming around him. And he's just like... He's the boomer of the group. Not so fast. I can't keep up. Okay. Mm. We can either go in here and blast through this wall. Or we can go here and go through here. Uh, what is this? Repair gel? Interesting. Like, um... There's a potential that there is a squad here. There's also a potential that there's a squad here. And there's no real way to tell. There's a squad here. Uh, I think we're going over here then and breaching there. And then killing this. It's an empty room. Yeah, seems good enough. Mm -hmm. 
gets alerted. We have two repairmen and three armored spiders. That seems not very threatening if I'm, if I'm being honest. We still go through here. Um, do I want to broadsword this right away or do I want to wait? I think I'm gonna wait one turn so they don't have a first move on me. And he's probably gonna stand here. Like, they're gonna come up here and he's gonna hold this down. While those three break through the wall and take the objective out before the reinforcements come. And then they're gonna retreat and then we're gonna fight them here-ish or something. That's the plan. Alright, block the door. Alright, that's the break. I think we can kill this, right? How much damage do you actually do? Impressive. Impressive. He actually crit there, right? Yeah, he has second move. So he crits there. Okay. <laughs> we killed it out, right? So we need to kill 11 enemies on the uh, on the board. I do have a little bit of a jump on me. But he's holding down the repairman, which is okay. And a spider, even better. Um, There's another squad. Two bulwarks, a repairman, and two accurates. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to remove armor first? I don't think so. Uh, every hit from him, as long as he has a moose left, is a crit now. Because he has the um, the filter module now. So the unit has moose left, 100% crit. So I want to hit like with moose left as much as possible on him, obviously. Huh. My mechanic is a little bit left out. Maybe I should have face cannon first. On hindsight, should have probably done that. He's gonna take it here. Uh, hmm, that's awkward. Oh, I can razor him, so he can actually move. And you can block for him. Okay. So he took only one shot this way. coming from there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's remove armor first this time around. And then crit him in the face. Those are repairmen. Um, they have the ability to heal their allies. Uh, I can't like select them when it's not my turn. So there are those five coming in. Uh, they can heal with a repair kit, same as mine, but theirs repairs 25 and mine repairs 8. <laughs> and then they shoot like Corruptor, which deals a little bit of damage and applies 15 heat to me. So they're like mildly annoying most of the time. I feel like I want to repair here. Put this one in the face. Oh, I have double moves, right? You also have doubles? Yeah. I always need to check because... 
Oh, that was your second? Oh no, you had the debuff before. Yeah, yeah. The spiders apply a debuff that prevents uh, my second move. So, like this one, prop damaged. Minus two to movement range and prevents the unit from moving a second time. So, I just removed this with like the repair kit and the status effects, but it still applied this turn. So, I couldn't move a second time. Like, the visuals on this is, are not very clear most of the time. It's very heated. You can kill him though. And then be very safe over here. That's fine. Bump the Viper down here, of course. Hmm. I feel like I want to remove armor on the repairman. Kill this one off. Hmm. This might be shootable. Ah, eh, it's whatever. Okay. This is my tank unit with 16 armor. He does not give a fuck. Hmm, 25, huh? So I'm gonna overhoot, overheat if I hit him. Overhoot. And there's no reason I have to do that. I can just bring this one up and this one can like cool down. Four enemies left, pretty easy. Okay. So, I don't think this was tier 2 yet. Tier 2 is much harder than this. And... After this mission, we will see how hard the game gets. I have no clue. Put this one. Otherwise, the damage would be kind of wasted. <laughs> Over a hood. That was a repairman. Hmm. Who knew a repairman could be so annoying? Right. Let's see how you do against my walking tank. Enemies with double move are very annoying, huh? But if you can just walk at them and they cannot hurt you, they're much less annoying. He does do 16 damage. Like, that's close to one, like... Yeah, it's not half of my HP, right? It's like half of the mechanics HP. Uh, close. Almost. And he can like walk up, hit me for half my HP and then back off. And if he doesn't like hit my tank over and over who is immune, then he's actually really annoying. And a really big threat. But since he's just hitting him... <laughs> you know. Alright, got the nanites. Bunch of matter. Okay, tier 2 now. So it wasn't tier 2 before. What do we have? We have easy missions again. I kind of want to go on an easy mission this time around, so you, you don't instantly lose. Uh, we should see new uh, new enemy types now. Let's just check. Thermal reagents. Regents? Reagents? Mm. Each turn overheated opponents gain 1 internal damage. Huh. 
That's kind of cool. I don't have like heat right now, of course, but that's kind of cool. Javelin ignore 35 armor. Yowzer. Cool. Is this a second level 2 filter module? Yeah, it is. But special condition allied units. You can have allied units, huh? Activate the defense. Wow. I don't want to do this right now. That's an easy one with allied units. Huh, interesting. Armored plating. Cryo capsules. I mean, this kind of helps. Sometimes. The thing is, I don't have squad upgrades um, completed. I have two open slots, so... Even though it's, it's, it's not the best, it still kind of helps. Why does the fabricator only show me four now? Also, I need to clean this up. Um, I don't think I want the normal diffuse anymore. And the razor is kind of pointless. Armor plating, maybe. Focus laser, laser is also kind of out, I think. Hmm. Is this because it's tier 2 now and I get less upgrades and stuff? There are cryo capsules also. Each turn, squad units with the zero heat gain plus one damage to own weapons. Each turn. So it's stacking up, huh? <laughs> Kinda cool. Hmm. This only helps for our tank. And our tank is good enough. Hmm. I can do... Where's the mechanic? I can do second move range. And then can give him nanites instead. For the three hull repair and the sustain. Instead of the... Instead of this. But he's gonna get less heat. So I kinda have to like balance this out somehow. I'm not quite sure how yet. So maybe not yet. Maybe eventually. What is your second upgrade? The 8 Corrosion. Reasonable. What's your second upgrade? The 15 Armor here, so. That seems good. I might take that. And you have this one. All weapons apply to Immobilize or at the end of the turn, remove one status effect. Hmm. You're currently using the Magnetic Cannon. I wouldn't be against, like, Changing this one? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. A one internal damage seems nice, but maybe this has to go at some point. Hmm. This seems always good. Like, that's the way we're going, right? I really want this eventually. I need, uh, like, heat reduction on the Viper, I think. That has to happen at some point. And the repair kit can also go on someone else, right? Hmm. The biosteel is gonna be replaced, maybe with another heavy armor at some point. <laughs> hmm. What are we upgrading then? Probably just the paladin. <clears throat> 15 armor pierce by default, and then 80 crit damage. This is gonna be a huge damage upgrade, and he's, he's gonna be smirking with his broadsword. Seems good, okay. And then we're gonna do... Like this one because it actually helps us or all weapons 20 heat up on dealing damage that seems kind of cool and another repair kit you have allied units i want to do something without a special condition just to verify how hard tier 2 is so i'm gonna do this one i, I just want to know all right time to die horribly Suppressor. Yeah, we see new new enemy types. So this was because of tier 2. I see. Suppressor weapon, 2 prop damage. 
um, restricts movement, 2 sensor damage, reduces crit by 100%, 2 interference, 35% uh, less damage. Adaptive armor, 100 hull. Man, you're annoying. Okay, what do we have? Uh, room here. No room here, this is empty. So it's one here. This is also empty, okay. Also empty. Room down here, room here, room here, room here. We don't want to go left, do we? We could try to move into them. Like, just go left. What is this? Oh, I actually see the cooler. Why do I see that? I think I want to go left in here. And like, gain position on them and then like, have first move on them. Because I think they're gonna be more spawning, right? And if I have like, uh... If I can fight the first wave instantly, it seems good. I don't know. Shit, I know I also misclick there. This is a spider and this is a heater. It's whatever. Empty room. There's a heater here. Hmm. This is annoying, but there's a cooler behind. So it's probably still worth going there. <laughs> it's kind of awkward that my tank is the like the slowest unit and is always like lagging behind and everyone else is like running in before him <laughs> And he's lagging behind. Hey guys, wait for me. I'm coming All right broadsword him Bonk There's another heater He gained um, adaptive armor. Every time this loses 10 hull, gain armor till end of turn. Repair 10 uh, between turns. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this was not the best tile to stand on, if I'm being honest. What do you apply again? Prop damage, sensor damage, interference. Nothing the Viper cares about. So the Viper can face tank it after. But still, like, yeah, maybe I just do this and sit here. You got a decent chunk on him. And now he has all his debuffs on me. Perfect. Just like I planned. And he's healing 10. Remove some of his armor. I cannot crit right now. Okay, he's actually dead, so he doesn't need to do anything. It's a big chunk, Coroni. Um, I don't think I want to remove this wall because he's immobilized right now, and he would just eat me. Like, I would give him a move. He's eating him instead. Hmm. Maybe I should have done it then. He's uh, ignoring armor anyway, so there's no reason to reduce his armor. Yeah, there are more coming, right? I, I don't know, it feels better to just jump on one wave and then deal with it. Otherwise, I would just sit around, like, not doing anything. Wait, what did I... Did I click on this wall? Interesting. I want to be here. I want to collect this matter before it degrades and then sit on the cooler. Yeah, I don't know. Like, for example, if you sit here, right, and you wait for them to activate, and then they activate and they activate, they come in here, and you kind of fight all of them at the same time. 
uh, while you sit here for like three or four turns. But if we go in here and we, we just fight them straight up, we fight them for three or four turns where we wouldn't do anything, then we can cool down after. We can like heal up a little bit and we have less enemies to fight. It just makes more sense to me. What are you? Another suppressor going from there. More units here. You have seven units left. You're a heater, double heater, two suppressors, and an armored spider. Sure. They're all full health. I have like the squad upgrade, power, manage, no. Improved diagnostics, repair two, hell, uh, two hull each turn. So while sitting around, I actually do heal quite a bit. Okay. A sentinel. Another suppressor. There are three suppressors right now. And a sentinel. What are you doing? 75 hull, no armor, um, nullifier, immune to status, applies one armor breach, um, hits you three times. Okay, so applies three armor breach with a hit and that's about it, sentinel. Okay, anti-armor unit, immune to status effects, got it. Hmm. That's not really the situation you want to be in. I could like take heater. I, I could take 10 heat. Well, let's take 10 heat for a better position behind this wall. It's not great, but. Maybe I should have let the Viper like be more in front and then hide behind the Viper. That seemed better, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure I can kill it here. That was not the unit I thought it was. I thought it was the Paladin with its crit. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, whatever. As I was saying, I think I can kill it here. Yeah? yeah, that's the dots now. Okay, five left. Um, two suppressors, two heaters, and a sentinel. Oh, he actually doesn't give a fuck, right? Because he uh, removes all status effects. The end of each turn. So after my turn and after their turn. Because if it was only after at the end of my turn, he would still have it, right? So he can just walk in there and not give a fuck. I like that. Hmm. The Paladin has uh, armor ignore, right? Wait, he cannot reach? Why can you not hit this? Because it's my own unit. <laughs> well, you know? <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it's, uh, let's not talk about it. I would prefer not to talk about it. You know? Some things don't need to be talked about. <laughs> uh, why can I not hit my own unit? What a shitty game. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I had like the debuffs on me, so, so I couldn't crit and I also cannot move back. Man, suppressors are actually nasty. Uh, the face cannon, no, it doesn't ignore armor. This ignores 15 armor. Was... He's gonna live with one, fuck me. Okay. It's the next suppressor coming in. He's actually getting heated. Wow, he takes damage. Imagine taking damage in the attack. Wow. Okay, the Paladin has no debuffs anymore, so it can hit him for 49, yeah, okay. You're exactly dead, you're dead also. Oh. It's gonna get heated again. So he's gonna take a little bit more. Prepared to how lost eight. Hmm. Bonk. Well, this was easy enough. It didn't lie, it was an easy mission. It does have new unit types though, so that's a thing. That's one left. Okay, cool. I wonder why I like got hard smashed in this mission before. I guess I did a normal mission, right? Hmm. What do we have? A pyre? Yes, please. Um, 30 heat up on dealing damage. Apply 7 plasma residue. Whew. This is like the upgraded version, isn't it? I want this so bad. Uh, incinerator. 30 heat to self. 30 heat up on dealing damage. Uh, applies 2 plasma residue. That seems pretty sad. Honestly, 30 heat to self. Hmm. The ballistics. Wow, that's an upgraded ballistics processor. Plus 15 min damage, plus 15 max damage, but plus 5 heat per shot. If I give this to Brigandin, um, he's gonna get plus 30 damage. But he pays with an additional 10 heat per shot. I can take uh, Achilles module off then, if I want to. Or I can replace it with a diffuse sensor for like just plus 10 plus 10. But for more heat. I want the pyre though, and this costs 200. <laughs> I mean, we can use that. The overclocking. Uh, it seems too situational, I don't really like the overclocking one. I think the lightweight can also go. I do want the pyre, um, and the viper is probably the one that carries it. Uh, the mechanic, I mean. Because of the 1-1. One, one. Hmm. I do want the face cannon though, and I do want the needle. Maybe the repair kit goes? Maybe someone else can carry the repair kit. Doesn't have to be the mechanic. Like, I can take the module off. No. Yeah. I can do this. Give him the repair kit. And the mechanic carries the pyre. Oops. It has like three 1 AP weapons. Eventually he gets AP upgrades, right? So he can use more of them. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Or he could carry it, honestly. Hmm. 
No, I think we stay like this. He doesn't need AP rounds with a 15. I think the armor is not high enough to like need more than 15 armor pierce. I, I think that's plenty. And then the crit damage will be my next upgrade if nothing good comes along. Hmm. Alright, I wanna do a normal mission now, see how this one feels. The lightweight, uh, it's an upgrade, sort of. Improved diagnostics? That would be cool. Another one. Nanite prototypes. Repairs two hull each time squad unit deals crit damage. Huh. Interesting. Not very good, but interesting. Like, this is plus two hull for every unit every turn. This is only when one of my unit crits, which is usually once per turn sometimes. Like, not, not every turn, right? So this just feels better. But, like, if you have the r correct weapon, which, like, you have, like, a burst weapon with five hits or something, and every hit crits, then, like, you heal for ten. So then it seems good, but... Right now, it seems worse than diagnostics. Hmm. There's a there's one of the ballistics processors. Like I really want this one, but it's like a repel the assault on hard. It's the same mission we just did, but we did it on easy. This is hard, and I'm not sure if I don't just die. Frequency modulator, gain two min damage and two max damage each turn. Huh. Scaling. 80 max heat. Wowzer. 80 max heat is a lot of max heat. Hmm. Raid the matter depot. No rewards, but 102 matter. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do. Flux cannon with 100% crit. Filter module. I feel like the improved diagnostics is the best one, so we're gonna do one more easy mission just because the rewards are better. The prototype seems, seems really niche. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's pretty easy to get 100% crit, right? You just need one item like this one, filter module. If the unit has moves left, 100% crit. Like, it seems pretty easy to get 100%. But then, you need it on a burst weapon, I feel. Or on a 1 AP weapon. Um, like... On a burst weapon that hits 3 times or 4 times or something, with like a repeater that improves your burst weapons, then it seems okay. Like, if you have 100% crit. Or you have like a 1 AP and have like lots of AP to spare, then you hit like 5 times or something. Or 4 times. Okay, like 4 AP seems realistic with a mechanic, right? You take these two upgrades, hit 4 AP, you hit them 4 times and you heal for 8 every turn. I mean, I don't know. Seems like a synergy thing though, not like a standalone good thing like this one. Yeah, seems a little bit niche. But I can see a world where it's okay. Uh, which one is this? Destroy all infected objects? Sure. Suppressor. Alright. I mean, we have to walk out here, right? So, might as well just engage them. Two suppressors and a sentinel. Sure. Pyre. How are you doing against, like... Heat? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The suppressors aren't, like, that susceptible to heat, but... The sentinel kind of is. He has 14 stacks. <laughs> if the unit is overheated, deal 70 damage, ignoring armor. <laughs> the fuck? Uh.
Man, that's so much. I should have done it the other way around because he has armor pierce and he didn't do any damage because he has reactive, reactive armor, adaptive armor, but I messed it up. Ow. Wait, um, I, I swapped this around, right? To, you have my repair kit now. Alright. I want to pirate it up. Do this one first. Oh, the paladin lost his crit. Because he's debuffed. Mm, feels bad. There. <laughs> he's just running. How much heat are you... Oh, minus 20 a turn? Hmm. That's awkward. It's a lot of minus heat a turn. Alright. Do we know where the thing is? Oh, it's revealed. What is this? Improved heater? Oh, yeah. Uh, we saw those before also, right? They have like this uh, heater repulsor thing. All enemies in 3 tile range, 10 heat per turn. Heater cannon plus 25 heat up on dealing damage. I wonder if enemies will ever have more than 1 AP. Here's 110 hull, huh? Yikes. Armored spider. And here's manufacturing suppressors every turn? Like every 3 turns? Huh. That's very far also. Damn. Can I reach? Yeah. This kills him, right? <laughs> he, he takes a hundred and six damage. Uh, eating seems pretty solid. Damn. <laughs> yep. I like it. Mm, they're coming for me. Reinforcements in seven turns, huh? Another uh, room here. Mm. It feels very slow not having second move. Like, my tank is so... He needs to be in a good spot, otherwise he will never get there, it feels like. Oh, they're there already. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of need to find a way to get second move on my tank. I would have to sacrifice something though. But maybe I can just get away without it. I don't know yet. Hmm. Oh, you just one shot him, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, I could have positioned that better, but I like, after my first move, I realized that I wanted to use my repair kit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad position. Well, happens. So I think improved heaters are... Uh, like, they have minus 10 heater turn, 150 heat capacity. So it would be very hard to overheat them, right? 
would be pretty easy to overheat this armored spider though. I like that they have a different strength and weaknesses. It feels really cool. Okay, crit him in the face. No, this one. I think this should kill him. Yeah, that just kills an armored spider. Very strong. And then I can just pin him down, right? Nice. What's your range there? Okay. Oh, you can still see me there. Hmm. Awkward. Bonked. You can't though, so I can like pin you down here. Then go back here. You can apply some dots and then go back here. Use it here. Okay. We have three turns until reinforcements. Hmm. We have two suppress, three suppressors, and a sentinel. All right. I feel like this time we're strong enough for tier 2. It depends, right? It's still like, those are easy missions. <laughs> it's actually quite scary that they're all easy. Bonked. Can the pyre reach? No. Oh, aren't they? No, they have adaptive. They don't. They're not in there. Okay. Hmm. It's like a little bit of a waste to hit him because I want to overheat this one. Hmm. He's bent down. He couldn't move. Wait, the overheat takes in and then he's overheated and he dies? He actually dies from 80 out of 100 heat. That's kind of crazy. But okay, we take it. Bonked. Let's move in there. Oh, you have 16 armor, huh? Whew, 39. <laughs> okay. Well, he's gonna debuff someone, but whatever. Zero turns until reinforcements. So, I have to kill them this turn, or... It's not gonna happen. He's debuffed, so he can't get up there. He's debuffed, so it's kinda hard.
I think he wants to sit here. He couldn't crit him anyway, so there was not much point doing that. Oh shit, I didn't hit with him, did I? I'm also getting reinforcements, but I couldn't like, get it in time. Alright, with that. No reinforcements? Or oh, was that good enough? Do I only have to uh, destroy like the repair thing? Oh, I didn't realize. Cool. We'll take it. Mm. Prepare this one. I'm doing like some inconsistent things here. I just figure like this fight is over. So I don't need to try as hard anymore. Like, they don't actually do a whole lot outside of like uh debuffing, so <laughs> overheating. Uh that is fun. Not gonna lie. Turn every unit into a heater? Hmm. Haven't thought about it this way. Oops. I'm sure there was a sequence where he dies this turn, but I'm too lazy. I think ordering matters quite a lot, but I mess up ordering of my units, uh, like every turn. <laughs> mm. Okay, another diagnostics. Sensor skill. Used an uh, other allied unit. Cool down one turn, one AP, adds 20 crit chance. Huh, so you use this like every turn. Seems weak. Minus 20 heat. Yes, please. Welding kit. Repairs 12 hull. Target ally against 10 heat. Meh. Cryo. Nanites. Another sword. Armored plating 6. Reasonable. Force cannon. Hmm. 30 to 45 damage. 2 turn cooldown. Ignore 30 armor. Apply 2 immobilize. 7 range. Plasma sni uh, Sniper Rifle, 20 to uh, 25 damage, 35 crit, hmm. ignore 20 armor, apply 2 immobilize to Plasma Residue, hard allied units, so I'm thinking the Paladin could use that, in case a broadsword, right? But he could get rid of com a repair compound and can, can get a sniper rifle. So when he's like far away, he also has like another option. Why would he ever use a broadsword over a sniper rifle? I want to compare those two real quick. Plasma sniper rifle. It doesn't have a cooldown, right? No. 20 to 25 damage, 35 crit. He, he crits all the time if he's not debuffed. It has a range of 8, ignores 20 armor, and applies 2 immobilize to plasma residue. Like it even immobilizes. So it deals mm, 60 damage, and the 35 uh, crit damage scale very well with his last upgrade he's gonna get eventually, plus 80 crit damage. Compared to broadsword, broadsword does 27 to 32 and 20 crit damage. It has more like uh, base range right but it's also plus 25 heat instead of plus 20. isn't like the sniper rifle just better and then i can even turn off repair compound because he's safer with the range um also i give like improve with improved diagnostics there's like no reason to have this is there i don't think so so you can't like run a nullifier for now <laughs> cheap nullifier. I want this. Like, I want this really badly. Plasma sniper rifle. But 
It's like hard with a special condition. Man, you ready to tank the run yet? Uh, this feels like a strong upgrade. I want this. Hmm, other options? Just grab a liquid cooling. Reasonable. Hmm, outside of that? Like, armored plating is the middle ground. It's a normal mission. I want to try this. It's beneficial? Yeah, I'm not so convinced. FC31 Caravan seems pretty good too. Hang on. Is this the other weapon we would get? What does this do? 30 to 34 damage times 2. Whew. Crit damage plus 10. I think that applies twice, right? Like the crit damage on burst weapons. You get like 10 bonus damage twice, I think. It has a cooldown. Hmm. I wonder if this is one of the weapons where it's worth to reduce the cooldown. You have like, um, is that even, maybe it's even on the big end then. No. Who has the reduction? You. Cooldown is reduced by one turn uh, for every weapon. So you could use it every turn, right? Maybe this is one of the weapons it's worth it. Like, it's worth to get it. Uh, this one. So you could use it every turn and deal 60 damage every turn. It's only 15 heat also. Yeah. Man, I, I, if we get this, I think we, we're gonna be very strong. Um, we have 119 matter. We should grab like an up upgrade before we do this. We could grab this one, but then we have heat problems. Hmm. Also, what is here? Emergency protocols. Squad unit gains 5 armor and minus 10 heat per turn if it is the last remaining unit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Countermeasures. Uh, when, a, when a squad unit is, is attacked, apply 2 interference to the attacker. Really? I can weaken their whole team? Huh. I want that. <laughs> yes? Mm. Structure Analyzer plus 60% crit damage. Oof. This is also pretty spicy for the Paladin. Or I could just grab the upgrade for the 80 crit damage. I could sell stuff for like 80% crit damage for smoking. And uh, the sniper rifle after will benefit even more from it. That seems also pretty good. But I could also just get rid of nullifier and buy the structure analyzer. analyzer. But I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it. Like, do we want both? Crit damage and crit damage? Maybe. We could just buy this and... Yeah. What are we selling? The acid cannon at this point. Alright. It's gonna apply interference to everything. <laughs> oh yeah, we skipped this now, right? Um, yeah, we're skipping it. Whatever. <laughs> it seems pretty strong though. Man, maybe I should have gotten it. Can I still get it? No, I don't have enough to sell, right? I could sell nanites also, 180. This is like what? 30, 60, uh, 90, 110, 130 ish. No, it's not enough anymore. Well, I skipped it apparently. I was too excited by the crit damage. Okay. So probably all weapons are going to be upgrades for a while. Yeah, that's true. Like, I feel like there are tier 2 we uh, weapons and stuff, right? That's only applied, like, that only show up with tier 2. Improved accurate. Hmm. Oh, he gains more damage per turn. That's fair. 
up to 9. So he deals like 16 to 17 at the end. And he has second move. Well, they always have second move, I think. And a sentinel. Okay. Activate the centurion unit. Your unit must stand on the special tile. Okay, we learned the special tile is the green tile from the down notes. Opponent squad will awaken soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna run into them, right? There's nothing else to do, so we're just gonna fight. Let's see. There's more, of course. So we have two improved accurates, a suppressor, two suppressors, sentinel. That's nothing too scary. Oh, we actually know. Okay. Centurions. Centurion weapon. Do I get to control these? That would be cool. Uh, 17 to 20 damage times 2 ignore 20 armor. 10 heat? 1 AP? Oh my god. <laughs> Can I like leave my allies behind and just take the weapons? I would like just those. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna clean this up and then go left, most likely. Uh, are we gonna go in here? Um, I don't think so. I think we're just... I wanted to go here. Fuck. I think we're still gonna retreat, right? I wanna pyre this one. I feel like pyre just outright kills this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. You're an approved version, huh? Well, forgot your heat sinks. Scrub. Right. <laughs> Killed two right away. Wait, allied turn. My allied have an extra turn. Huh. That's insane. Mm, did he get an upgrade when he hits my armor? Yeah, he did. It still counts, huh? Whenever this unit damages an opponent. So I think the damages an opponent part also applies when he hits my armor. Like, he didn't deal any damage to me, right? But he still, like, it still counts for this purpose. Can I get my mechanic all the way down here? Is there any way? Uh, he has second move 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. No. I cannot get in range here. 1, 2, 3, 4. No. So I can't, like, heat him up and cook him. Cook him good. I'm gonna do this one first. I think the mechanic can then reduce armor. Apply debuff. He can walk in here, right? It's fine. Oh. Maybe hit the enemy, not my own unit. And then Paladin, Broadsword in. 59 crit. Man, imagine this was the sniper rifle. <laughs> and he had a second upgrade. Wait, what is this? An enhancer? New unit. Um, Corruptor. This is kind of the... Um, Corruptor is the same weapon the repairmen have, I think. Enhancer. Use an allied unit as a random upgrade to an allied unit. Huh. Zero IP. So he uses this every turn for free. Huh. Use double move. So don't they have like max upgrades already? I feel like part of the difficulty is that they all come with like maxed out upgrades. But maybe they can have more than three. I don't know. I don't think they are active yet. And I don't want to. He's running so far. I don't really want to activate them if I don't have to. I can go here and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not in range. If I move him, no. I probably need to let him come in then. So... Remove armor. Apply a little debuff. I didn't activate him yet. 
Mm. There have to be more enemies in this room, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we go... Brigand in first. Question mark. Oh shit, he had debuff supplied. That sucks. He didn't get to crit anymore. Alright. We can cook him now. Uh, Devastator. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. 145 hull, 12 armor. Devastator cannon. 12 to 14 damage. What? Why is this called a Devastator Cannon? This cannon sucks. What? <laughs> he has armored plating. Repairs 10 hull each turn. I see. But why is he called a Devastator? He's just a tank. Who doesn't do a whole lot. Huh? I'm confused. Oh my god, he one-taps him. It's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna jump on the Enhancer, I think. But we're still gonna like need to kill this guy. Mm, can't hit him from here. Still not dead? Oh my god. I want like... I want him to stop applying debuffs to me, so it's just fun. Okay. And a suppressor, that's fine. There's nothing here, but there's more doors, so there could be more. Opponent squad will awaken soon in four turns. Be reasonable. How is your heat looking? Minus 27 heat a turn. Okay, I'm just gonna smack this one. How is Devastator Heat looking? Minus 20 a turn, but only 75 max. I feel like we can heat him to death. We can cook him. I should call it cooking. <laughs> it's much funnier. Hmm. My mechanic like takes a lot of damage from him now, actually. I think I'm gonna use the Viper to break this open to have more room to walk through. Okay, mm. I, I didn't want to walk up here to cook him yet. Maybe I should have to get it started and to kill him next turn or something, but I don't know. It felt like he would be too exposed. Maybe it was the correct play, who knows. Alright, Devastator. Your time has come. To lay down your shitty weapon. He can finally crit again. Wow. Suppressors are really rough on the Paladin. I feel like this is gonna be, get much better once he actually has um, his sniper rifle instead of uh, his broadsword. Also, hmm. Your shitty weapon is only... Well, he hit him twice, right? And he still didn't die. It doesn't seem reasonable for uh, a unit called Devastator. Uh, who has the healing? You have the healing yourself. Okay. He's dead. Hmm. I'm sure something's gonna happen once I activate them. I'm, of course, I'm just not quite sure what. But we have like good sustain now with like the plus, we get plus four each turn from our double improved diagnostics. 
Oh shit, I could have moved further. Uh, still is debuffed. And they also have my global minus 4 heat, which is also nice. Alright. They are active. I have another Devastator Suppressor and Enhancer. So part of me wants to activate them. Part of me wants to kill them first. Like, I have the assumption that more units will spawn once they are active. I don't know that, but I want to kill the squad to the left first before I touch them, I think. Wait, they're not active? Oh yeah. Oh, it was my ally turn, not their turn. Oh, he's enhancing him. So, I wanna see how this works. Did you get another upgrade? Oh, you got like, oh, hull upgrade. 35 max hull. Meow. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Huh, okay. Hmm. I'm not close enough with my Paladin. That sucks so much. Also not with Mechanic. Oh, it will be. Okay. Man, overheating seems to do so much against Devastators. That is so cool that, like, different upgrades... I keep repeating myself, but, like, the different playstyles are good against different units. It feels so good. What is the Paladin doing then? Nobody knows. Just sit around. Look pretty. Interfering with a brigand then, that's fine. Who did you upgrade? Uh you have a hull upgrade and you have an You have adaptive armor by default. Who did you upgrade? I'm sure it's gonna spam it every turn, right? Doesn't seem like... Did you upgrade yourself? No, it's only allied units. But he has adaptive armor by default, right? Oh no, he doesn't. Oh no, 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 they don't. He got this, yeah. Coolio. Okay. Oh my god, 61 crit. Smack him. Oh, he dies anyways, but whatever. <laughs> he takes 114. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, he suppressed me. But... He can remove the suppression. So I get to crit again, and he just dies. Okay. Now we're gonna activate them. Well, next turn. Okay, let's see what happens. Opponent squad is teleporting. That's what I thought. Centurions activated, broadcasting new directive. Destroy all enemy units. 10. Uh, they are teleporting in, huh? What did they send? Heater, Armored Spider? Improved Heater? Nothing spooky. Okay. Um, I kind of want to move to here because we have a cooler here. Do I get to like control them or do they like move on their own? It's kind of important to know. Ally turn. Huh. Seems like they have a life of their own, huh? Are they moving? They have movement range. Hmm. Maybe I just sit here? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't want to move away from them. They seem very capable in combat. So I kind of want to take advantage of that. 
seems too easy so far. Yeah, I know. Wait, they're, they're just rushing forward. <laughs> Son of a gun. I know, right? There's like this huge, uh, like, discrepancy and difficulty. Like, some missions are so incredibly hard, and some missions are just to walk over. And it doesn't really correlate with them being hard or easy missions. There was like an easy mission earlier that like almost killed me. And this is a hard mission which just feels like a pushover. And it's really hard to tell for someone who doesn't know the missions very well. Which one like you can take and which one you can't. And if you take just one that is like outside of your reach. Then you just die and you have to start over. It feels like a lot of... Um... Things you just have to know. And I also wonder if I need to keep them alive or not. Probably, right? Alright, what do we have? A couple spiders? But spiders are like the most basic units ever. You send spiders after me? Huh. Alright. They just one-tap you. There's a chance I just one-shot this. 64. <laughs> Good night. Um, the problem is my allies walk forward. Huh? That's annoying. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Walk forward with them? <laughs> yeah, they don't give a fuck. They just walk in there. At least I have 75 hull and like 4 armor, so it's like... Ugh, but he's getting overheated by the heaters. Well... I guess that's the difficulty of the mission. Because they walk in and get shot by 7 things. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, they didn't... Sh Oh, they had the turn before. They have to turn after me, right? Okay, let's uh, kill off the heaters as much as possible, I think. Mm. I can overheat the spider pretty easily. So this one's gone. Then I want to focus on the heaters. Because he's taking a lot of heat. From here I can hit him, okay. I don't want to tank for him though, is the issue. Only with my tank and he's so slow. I don't know, they might die here. Not sure if it matters or not. But they should also like... Okay, he killed him, nice. They should also dish out a lot of damage. The only issue is overheating. They also have 4 armor. Yeah, they're fairly beefy, but yeah, overheating is a problem. Okay, we gotta kill this heater thingy. We're cooking the spider, I'm pretty sure. And we're trying to finish this one off. You're damaging them, but you don't kill them. Genius. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah. Whew. He has 238 heat. <laughs> Uh, well, it's kind of hard saving you, not gonna lie. My paladin, oh my god, my paladin doesn't have his crit. <laughs> and they're kind of blocking me off. Hmm. Well... 
I think he's dead. I don't know. I, I cannot reach this either. I can like... Hmm. I can do this one, I suppose. Try to get to him. There's no real way. I think repair kidding this to remove the debuffs is more valuable. <laughs> he's so gone. At least he smacked him before he died. So that's a thing. What? As an accurate there. Destroy three units. Maybe... We cannot destroy them before he goes, right? And he takes 30 damage. There's no way we heal him enough. We cannot cool him down. He's just gone. Goodbye. Have a good one. If repair kit? No. Took this one. Oh no, it's out of range. <laughs> Centurion was destroyed. Well, we saved one. Is it good enough? Apparently. Oh yeah, give me the sniper rifle. And the caravan. It feels like this is worth playing around. Alright, what else do you have? Analyzer, 60% crit damage. Hmm. Wait, Matter Depot, 115. Repair Matrix? I don't think so. We have a lot of sustain already. Micro Reactor. Plus 1 AP, minus 20 heat at the end of turn. Huh? Plus 1 AP with upside? What is this? This seems insane. Am I missing something? Ooh, this is also really good. Prototype. But, holy moly, give me this one. Alright, what do you have? Hmm, the processor, cryo, thermo, thermo. Hmm. Right, Paladin. It's time for a real weapon. <laughs> hmm. Improved cooling. I want the plus 80% crit damage. I don't think I can get there. Alright, the caravan is gonna go on this one, right? Do I get rid of the face cannon? I, I could give it to the mechanic. But I feel like the mechanic has so many options that he like always has something to do, right? Hmm. I can give it to the Viper. Like every second turn, deal double damage. I kind of want to give it to the Brigandin. Because uh, this one has diffuse sensors for like 10 more oomph. Hmm. Man, this smashes so much. I could get rid of second move. But second move is so nice. If the unit has moves left, increase the number of shots for burst weapons by 2. 
<laughs> so are you telling me? I can shoot four times with this? 30 to 34? If I have moves left? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Hmm. So there's uh, also this item, which um, like does the same thing as which this one. Cooldown is reduced by one turn. Uh, this is also available as an item. Maybe we should wait until we get this item thing. I, I don't want to remove anything here, right? Like removing the diffuse sensor is actually pretty detrimental. I could you I could remove the repair kit but then then I don't have any cleanse anymore I don't have it for the hull repair at this point I just have it for the status cleanse I could remove face cannon and give him the thing back though I think face cannon is fine to remove or you can scroll I wasn't sure if you could scroll here or not then give him the caravan I think it's okay so he has a big oomph it's actually 40 damage. No, this is plus 5. Uh, this is actually 35 to 39 times 2. Hmm. I could sell stuff and get my crit upgrade. I need 210. So I'm missing 122. Do we ever want the broadsword? I think this is gone. This is always gone. The lightweight. Hmm. The nanites are probably gone. The compound is gone at this point. Nullifier could be a thing. Cryo. I don't think we want cryo. The rent. The AP rounds are maybe useful. We need 210, so we need to sell two things. One thing, okay. Oh my god. My body is ready. Smack them. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Alright. We're gonna do this one, right? Activate the defense. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. But what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> pew pew. I can't wait. I wanna blast someone into oblivion. Okay. Uh, activate the centurion units. Oh, it's the same it's the same mission. Okay. Uh sure. Where's my... where you at? Where's my wiper? Uh, paladin rather. How far can you shoot? You can shoot from here? Okay, shoot from here. Who do you shoot? Can you one tap a sentinel? I think so, right? You should, you, just, you should just straight up die. Oh, it tells me. I didn't even realize. It tells me below the unit. Damage 20 to 24 plus 84 crit. He just dies on the spot. <laughs> 109. <laughs> 7 range. Ignores 20 armor. Spammable. Applies immobilize as well if he doesn't die. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, he applies plasma residue? Oh, to myself. Wait a second. To myself? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I didn't read that correctly, did I? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna need the uh, status cleanse for this, huh? <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, uh, that's fine, that's fair. It did seem. Oh shit, I misclicked. It did seem unreasonably powerful, right? So. That's probably fair. Um, I can just overheat kill this one. Cook him. Cook him good. <laughs> uh, what did you get? Damage upgrade. It's 50% damage to own weapon. Huh. 
That would be very good in specific things, right? <laughs> this is ridiculous. 108 damage. It does apply like a lot of those stacks, but... Yeah, we need to remove them somehow. Uh, I think we need to get rid of improved cooling. We don't really need this anymore, right? And then we give him like status clear. We need this for sure and we want the 60% crit. That's his final build then. Like we need to replace this with um, uh, status cleanse and then he's golden. Like he's, he does the same thing that he does now but without the debuff basically. Can we cook the enhancer? No, we cook the repairman, right? Uh, the enhancer cannot enhance himself, so... <laughs> but yeah, for this mission, until we can replace his stuff, we need to be careful that he doesn't overheat. If he ever overheats with like a bunch of stacks, it might be really dangerous. Alright, what do we have? We have two suppressors, two improved accurates, and a sentinel. They don't like actually hit the centurions until we activate them, right? I don't think so. I feel like we don't want to activate the centurions until we've dealt with all the squads in the field. Since they like are pretty vulnerable to with their shitty AI. It's just so much fun. What can I say? I like doing that. Okay, uh, mechanic can cook this one. What's your range? 5 on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I actually have to be here. I actually haven't used this weapon yet. He didn't really get to shoot yet. Or like, not much. He really feels like a sniper. That's like the, the other cool thing. It's not just like, it, he has a sniper rifle. But he really feels like a sniper, right? He's sitting in the back ranks, then he steps out, and then he like has like really high single target DPS and then he hides again. Really cool. I enjoy that. Most of the stuff we do right now feels very powerful. 30 and 20. The second time he had armor. Yeah, you should relax now. <laughs> okay, uh, next one will activate in one turn. Right, we're yet. Yeah. 
Oh, reinforcements will start to spawn, I see. Alright, let's activate them then. Destroy eight. Suppressor, spider, bulwark. I'm not sure if they will like come through this. Oh, they, there's even a door here. They will come through here then. Alright. Oh, they're not active. Hmm. A bulwark should be pretty simple to overheat, right? Except there are like 17,000 enemies in this room. <laughs> but we can one tap bulwarks even. We're like heating. Hmm. I might have exposed my mechanic a little bit too much though. We can't shoot anyone from here. I should walk up so I can have a shot next turn. Very smart. Shoot the dead unit. Good job. Yeah, Pred's the repairman. There's some more over here, of course. Accurate, spider. Suppressor, improved accurate. Sure. What did you get? Damage upgrade. On. If only you were a damage unit, then it would actually matter. That was an actual good shot. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, those four units and then we're done. This also felt very easy. It's just that we're really strong. I think our paladin. Once we um, once we switch the um, the utility thing around, I think our paladin is maxed out. There's nothing we can give him anymore. Did you not kill the repairman or like the enhancer? <laughs> you idiot! Could you not shoot him before you move? Like, what is that? Do I really have to run up there and kill him myself? Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's so annoying. No, I refuse. Shoot him. Shoot him now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, right? Very smart, much wow. You know, Suppressor, I've had enough of you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't get used to that. It's insane. Hmm. Also, the pyre uh, overheating is very strong.
Hmm. Yo, what's up, Garrett? How thick is Viper now? Very thick. Interior. We're pretty far into the game, to, uh, like compared to usual. Viper has 16 armor. Yeah, it's 4 armor, heavy armor, 12 armor. He has nullifier, <clears throat> so he actually removes any armor breach he receives. And also any dots that ignore armor. So he's kind of invincible, and he has Razor, which is um, doesn't give him any heat. <clears throat> so even though he has only 75 max heat, he's like removing a lot per turn. Minus 5 here, and he has an upgrade, I think. No, his upgrade is uh, 2 hull repair each turn. So he has 16 armor and he cannot like lose armor. And I have improved di diagnostics for the whole team. Repairing 2 hull each armor, so he gains plus 6 health every turn. I don't know, he feels really beefy. But the star of the show is the Paladin right now. Paladin is like smacking some people around. Viper achieved maximum thickness, that's true. Yeah, there are like a couple of upgrades we can get for him, but he's pretty sad. And we have like this micro reactor now. This seems incredible. 1 AP minus 20 heat applied at the end of the turn. What the heck? Noise filtering. Plus 5 min damage. Meta Depot. Armor Shredder Ballistics. Nice. I want to do this one, I think. Ballistics seems good. Emergency Protocols. <laughs> Such a troll. All weapon cooldown is reduced by one turn, minus 50 max heat. This is what I want. Actually, we do this one. Um. That upgrades the other unit significantly, the big and then. We can get rid of the magnetic cannon and just carabin it up. Hmm. Right? It gets rid of interference, which is which kinda sucks. But still, like this has a one turn cooldown then, and he can use it every turn, kinda tripling his damage. Don't need to weaken them if they're if they're dead, right? Like <laughs> Well, and who gets the micro reactor then? Um, first of all, the paladin needs the nullifier instead of the improved cooling. Um, we can give the improve, improved cooling to someone, I suppose. But the micro reactor is just better. Maybe to the mechanic. He can pyre someone three times. Get rid of the repair kit. I don't know, it feels really bad to get rid of repair kit, but it feels even worse to lose second move. He can have first move here, right? Ooh, I want this one and then uh, he can ditch this instead. And then he can have repair kit. Yeah, yeah, I want that. So let's sell the face cannon. How much do I need? 120. Hmm, not gonna get this this round. So keep this the frame for now and then switch it next round, probably. The reactor is best on him, right? Like you have 1 AP, you need a 1 AP weapon to actually use it. Like if I if I give someone with a 2 AP weapon 1 extra AP, it doesn't really matter. So the mechanic is the one that uses it. And he can overheat someone for an incredible amount now. Yeah. And next turn, we get the repair kit back in. And also, we cycle out the magnetic cannon and he can have more upgrades and stuff. Seems good. <laughs> What's up, Andrew? You sure this is a game and not a stock market? I'm not sure. Um, I'm never sure about anything, to be quite honest. Alright, we eliminate the infected. Uh, this was our uh, <laughs> this was our upgrade screen. Okay, 
You ready for the mission screen? Maybe this looks more like a game. <laughs> Alright, hard mission. First hard mission actually, I think. Armored spiders? What is this? Is this for real? Those are scrubs. Alright, mechanic. Cook him good. Oh, we have more here. Mm. Why do I have so many circles around my mouse? I don't understand. I feel like the first circle uh, shows my pyre range. Like, my pyre has a 5 range, right? My needle has a 7 range. I feel like if I go here, the first red circle shows my range of my lower range weapon. And the outer circle shows the range of my needle. But it's like very confusing. Like, there are so many colors. <laughs> Anyways, we cook the spider. And then... Throw in my needle. Where do I have my one-shot Johnson? The Paladin. Hmm. I want to remove this wall, I think. Uh, he needs to move, actually. Okay. Alright. This is why we have him. He's our sniper. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now he has the nullifier. So the sniper rifle. Here's the combo. If this room unit has moves left, he gets 100% crit chance. He has plus 60% crit damage and plus 80% crit damage from uh, traits. He ignores 15 armor from traits. And he gets a second move. So he can move once and he still has moves left. So he gets 100% crit. Then he has a sniper rifle that does 35 additional da uh, crit damage. So it has like very high emphasis on crit. And it gets amplified further. The weapon itself also ignores 20 armor. So he ignores up to 35 armor. And he crits them for like a hundred plus. And then he applies like this debuff to himself, which heats him up. Which is why we have the nullifier, which like removes the debuff again. And he can like come out of the shadows, hit someone for a trillion damage, and then just walk back. He's, this paladin is insane. And now he removes his stuff again, right? Right, who wants to die? You want to die? I heard you wanted to die. <laughs> he survived the shot with 5 HP. Alright. We can cook this one. Hmm. God, I'm so strong. <laughs> uh, feels good. Alright. Found a new squad. Uh, suppressor, heater, double suppressor, two improved accurates. Sure. This one. Hmm. Viper is my tank, so he's gonna sit here and block this. <laughs> you cheat with god mode, now you use kill command. <laughs> I feel very overpowered right now. I struggled a lot with this game until like I had good builds going, but once you have good builds going on, it feels... I don't know. You just murder stuff. We overheated him for his whole HP bar. Seems good. Alright. You have 100 HP? You scrub. Didn't you get the memo? You're not safe at 100 anymore. <laughs> you have a sheriff in town. He's gonna get you.
Hmm. He has one AP left. He has three AP now, huh? Can tap him on the shoulder. Why did you do so little damage? Oh, you have been interfered with. Hmm. Well, that wasn't my smartest move, but sure. We'll take it. Three digit health, yeah. Oh no, he interfered with me. Fuck. Uh, suppressors actually shot me down really, really hard. Um, they take away my, my second move, but more importantly, they de damage my sensors, reducing my crit chance by 100. So now instead of like 100, I deal 20 damage. So I deal like a fifth of the damage. So if he actually gets caught out, he's pretty dead meat. <laughs> like this. I didn't really calculate for that. And we also don't have, um, we cannot, like, remove this right now, so, hmm. awkward. Like, for this mission, we removed our thing to, uh, to cure status on demand, so we can't do that right now. It's fine. We can deal with him the old-fashioned way. <laughs> can you, like, just do what I say? Thank you. But you can see like how much harder this is if you don't have someone who smacks them around. Wait, there's more? Oh, hello there. I didn't even see them. Hmm. The infected node seems to be here, huh? Or here? One of those rooms. Okay, couple heaters. I think we can also overheat the suppressor. I can triple higher. Hmm. I think that also kills one. Okay. So we need the paladin to take out this one, so I have access to a suppressor and can kill him. So the rest should just kill the suppressor, right? Mm. Alright, that was enough. So, you move away so you can get in range. His debuffs were off, so he's a god again. Oh, this way I don't deal with Leo, huh? It's probably fine. This lets me get to you. Nope, not okay. quite. With 3 AP, I get to overheat him for like six, uh, 90 plus, 94-ish. And then he takes down with the like debuff. And for every stack of debuff he has, Plasma Residue, this uh, heats him up by 20. And once he's overheated, it deals uh, like 5 damage per stack. Oh, he has like 21 stacks, it deals 105 damage to him, and he straight up dies to overheat. Glorious. And I want to sit in front here so he doesn't get all the damage. He's my tank with 16 armor. We can of course always destroy walls. Like you have to be... You cannot rely on uh, walls covering for you all the time. But at least they eat up an attack, right? doesn't kill him yet, but the brigand didn't will. Will not. I lied. He has 8 armor. Hmm. This one will. Oh, good sir. You chose the wrong neighborhood. Right, only this one left. I think the mechanic will deal with him. Okay, this is revealed now. Another spot here. We have an enhancer, a suppressor, and a devastator. And we still don't know. There's a heater here, suppression field. We still don't know where the objective is. Nobody told us. Right. 
Let's get him real quick before he's like annoying us. <laughs> and then the rest can move up. Mm. All right. Is this the playthrough where we beat the game? My goal for this game was to beat it once. And I know you can beat it because I checked the Steam achievements. And there's actually a like achievement for beating it on easy, hard, difficulty, finishing the game, stuff like that. So I'm very sure you can. And I want it. I feel like once you figure it out the builds and stuff, the game gets very repetitive. So that's probably all I want to do for this game. Fuck, I'm not in range. I'm not in range by one. You're kidding me. Alright, let's hide again. But yeah, I want to beat it once at least, and then I'm good. That's the objective. Did you upgrade this one? Didn't see. This is an enhancer. Every turn he upgrades a random ally. He got an upgrade for a 35 max hull, so instead of 100, he has now 135. And there's a Devastator with like 12 armor. He also has a hull upgrade still, eh, already. 180 HP. <laughs> Enhance this. Hmm. How much you do? 12 to 4, uh, 14 and the suppressor. Like, nobody can kill my my tank. So my tank can just like walk in and not care. But the other ones have to be a little bit more careful. I want to cook this one. He has too much HP to kill regularly. So we're just gonna heat him up until he bursts in flames. Yeah, with the upgrade he actually survives the shot from my sniper, which is quite the achievement. Alright. Here's the mechanic, uses pyre, he stacks like 17,000 debuffs, and it doesn't kill him this turn, but next turn he will still be overheated, and he takes 100 damage uh, like every turn now, so he's not gonna survive that. He has 26 armor. He has um, an upgrade with adaptive armor, so whenever he uses 10 hull, for this turn he gains 10 armor, which is a flat damage reduction, which I didn't really see. Or like, didn't pay attention to. So he actually survived the double shot there. <laughs> He's just gone. Uh, should I kill him? Yeah. I don't want to touch him since he's dead to uh to heat anyways. Alright. Mission objective last, huh? Classic. No refund for Geo Hunters. <laughs> Maybe the achievement is just to drop years. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's just endless. And and it just stacks up forever and you can't even finish it. But they put the achievements in so you keep playing. <laughs> that is possible. Uh Okay, we have so there is a tier progression. We're at tier two right now. It also unlocked a lot of the better weapons we have right now. So we need two more missions to unlock tier 3 and I have no idea when the game is over or like what happens but we're gonna play it until it's over or until we die but it's very unlikely that we die at this point anymore I would need to mess up quite substantially plus 60 heat upon dealing damage applies 5 plasma residue 30 heat to self hmm our seems better Uh, ours is 
This costs 2 AP to fire, and ours has higher. Plus 30 upon dealing damage, and plus 15 to self, 1 AP to fire. So it's kind of the same, but more flexible, and it applies more debuffs. It applies 7 uh, stacks of debuffs instead of 5. This is just better. What else do we have? Repair. The repeater. Increases the number of shots for burst weapons by 2. I want that. Yeah. Um, okay, first of all, we get we got the module. So we can kick the normal weapon. We use this one, which has a 2 turn cooldown. But with a module, it has now 1 turn cooldown, so we can use it every turn. And it deals 30 to 34 damage twice. So if we get the other one now, on top, the repeater, it deals 30 to 34 damage four times. Yep. This is what we're gonna do. Mm. The diffuse sensor adds min and max damage, which uh, scales well with this, but maybe it gets outscaled eventually. Then we have the second move, which we might have to ditch at some point. Um, right. So we wanted the second move on this one, so we can ditch this, which just gives us second move. You have like a first move, and then you have special abilities, like upgrades or like up, uh, like this utility thing, which gives you a second move. Which like just gives you more mobility, but also in the, uh, in the case of the Paladin, it gives you the... Um, if the unit has moves left, uh, it also counts your second move. So this one activates even though I can move one, like I moved once already. So it's very important to have that. But here's like this upgrade tree where you have three upgrades for every unit, and this is different for every unit. So we just upgraded this and we got rid of this one. So we have one more slot open. We can get our repair kit back, which gets rid of every status effect in an emergency. I feel like having this is pretty good. We can have cooling if someone gets overheated too much. This is our tank. Heavy armor. 4 armor minus 5 heat. This is like a weak spot, I think. This is a, an upgrade we can, we can get at some point. We don't have enough matter for anything else. Um, I think the caravan can go. We have one already and nobody else uses it. We keep the cannon for now. This one can also go. This one never goes back in. The armor pierce is fine. Overclock sensors. Mm. Each turn, squad units with zero heat gain one damage to own weapons. That already helps the tank and he doesn't care. More healing? I don't think so. Power management? Squad units gain minus four heat each turn. Pretty good. Like, those are squad upgrades. You can have four of them. Right now, we run minus four heat for everyone. And then two hull every turn for everyone. Maybe we can swap them around if we find something better. But right now we only found three the entire playthrough. Focus sensor minus uh, plus 40 crit chance. No. We're good, right? We want a repeater for this one. And eventually he gets like the... If the unit has moves left, increase the number of shots for burst weapons by two. So he's gonna use the carabin and he's gonna shoot six times. So he does 30 damage uh, six times. <laughs> so he's gonna be a beast as well. And he's gonna be our tank, and he's gonna be our heater unit. And maybe we replace the needle at some point. Like, this is kind of outdated, because we deal so much damage. Maybe we replace the repair kit, and I'm not sure what the mechanic does. He's like a supportish unit, and like a, a heating unit. That's gonna be our lineup. So we're gonna do this for the repeater. Our mission is to it. You don't skip the needle? Hmm. The needle is so good early game, but it feels like we, we, uh, we've we grown like out of the needle. Okay. Uh, I should check. Um, improved Acrid, Armored Spider, nothing new. <laughs> Alright, deal with the heat. There's my Paladin. No suppression today, sir. Wiper, sit here. Got outscaled? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just normal, right? Fuck, the mechanic gets beat up. Alright. We can also, like, Repair Kit has a 2 turn cooldown. It doesn't 
require any heat. It repairs eight health, which is pretty bad, but it uh, removes all status effects. So we only have it for the status effects, but sometimes you can also like just heal if you if you're not really doing anything else. Mm, you. Could you like kill this for me? Thank you. He's dead to overheat now. He still has moves left, sure. What are we doing? And destroy all infected nodes. Infected node applies interference each turn. But we remove interference with nullifier here. And on the Viper, he has nullifier as well. So we don't get an interference is a weak effect. And it reduces your damage by 35%. So he's gonna be pretty weak. Uh, this particular instance, or like this particular mission. More stuff. Repairman, an enhancer, repairman, accurate suppressor. Okay. Mm, we can one tap this. We like reach this? No. I think we just one tap this one. And. We're gonna cook this one. Can we reach? Yeah. Cook it good. It feels like this is a solitary room. There's no connection. So the objective is probably here, somewhere up here or to the west. But we still kill those because they're gonna chase us down otherwise. And one thing you cannot have is your, like, I think the way we lose is having the Paladin or the Sniper or whatever you want to call him in a really bad spot and getting like... He's really shut down by debuffs and he only has a Nullifier level 1 right now. So if he gets multiple debuffs on him and we don't have the firepower anymore, then we might actually just get smacked. Hmm. We needled him. So this is the needle. It's very strong early. It only requires 1 AP and you apply the internal damage debuff. So you deal 25% max HP damage on, onto someone. And when, if you don't have the firepower yet, it's actually quite good. But why would I like deal 25% of his HP if I can just one shot him at this point, right? It just feels like needle is a little bit, I don't know. It's done its job, but right now it's not good anymore. If one suppressor here and like this stupid repairman. Repairman like repair have the same repair kit, repairs for 25 and apply heat and run around and are annoying. Can I reach you? Right. Good stuff. I feel so OP. Okay. Oh, uh, next squad is active. So there are two countdowns in every mission. Uh, one countdown is for the next squad to be active. Like there are rooms and one squad is usually in one room. As, like, as far as I can tell. And they'll get like more and more the higher tier you are and like the more uh, the harder the mission is I suppose I haven't really found any other pattern outside of those and they get active like after two or three turns usually and then they run towards you and then there is a enemy reinforcement countdown and this countdown will stop once the um, once you complete the objective so our objective is to find the node which is probably here and we need we have seven turns to find it. If we don't find it in seven turns, then reinforcements will spawn in. They like teleport into the mission and they will become active after one turn. And they keep spawning until we do the objective, basically. And then there are different missions um, where you have to do different stuff. There's another. Like this was the other cooldown. 
And since there's no more cooldown for a squad active, we know those are all the units on the field. But we still have to go up here and kill like this mission objective, otherwise in 6 turns we will get more. And as you can see, like if you if you just don't have the damage at some point, it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed by like squads of five running in from every direction. But we are pretty nasty right now, so. Hmm. <laughs> Our tank can just go. Our tank doesn't give a fuck. He has 16 armor. Armor is flat. This is not our tank. Why Why did you walk up there? This is not our tank. <laughs> Shit. This is our tank. He has 16 flat damage reduction. And they deal like 7 to 8 damage. Uh, 12 to 14 damage. And 7 to 9 damage. And applies debuffs that like lower my damage. But again, like he doesn't care. And he's immune to every single shot they dish out. So... He's just a walking fortress, and most of the time he just walks around. He also has a Razor, which uh, doesn't heat him up himself, but it instead deals 5 damage to himself, but is reduced by armor. So it's basically a free attack he just tosses out to be menacing and dangerous looking. <laughs> and he just like sits there, and sometimes they hit him and he laughs at them. <laughs> like this. But sometimes they just ignore him and then we're sad. But like those those three units, <laughs> he just face tanks them. Got a head off for role playing. Hey, have fun, Kale. Hope you have a good one. Had to report me for fake title. Wait, what's my title? This game is harder than it looks. Ah, I see. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a very accurate title anymore, huh? <laughs> it is pretty hard. Like, at the beginning, I was really struggling. Hmm. Well, I think we just kill him like this. Because we don't have access to the suppressor right now, and otherwise he wouldn't shoot at all. Maybe he could have not shot in like... I don't know. And just recovered heat, I was about to say. Eh, it's whatever. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, Acroids are building up damage over time. So the gimmick with those units is that they can... They always have double moves, so they're very annoying. And they have this laser, so they gain uh, 3 damage on it every time they shoot. Up to 9 damage. So eventually they will... They might actually deal like 1 damage per shot to me. But I have um, improved diagnostics, repairing 4 hull each turn. Here's an upgrade that repairs 2 hull each turn, so... They need to like ramp up significantly before they can even scratch me. Mm. <laughs> and my sniper is having a field there. Eventually he will get overheated. But we remove the plasma residue every turn. So overheat, uh, overheating is not that big a deal. It's still annoying though. Like we still have to watch out for it. Oh fuck! He has debuffed, so he was like robbed of his second move. So now I have have to actually be careful, and I want to block for him because I messed up. He does get a second move though, so he can sit here. They're gonna come in here. Maybe they actually shoot me here. I didn't check their range. They might have enough range to shoot me though. But. All those here are blocked by my Viper, by my tank. Why did you shoot my tank? Couldn't you have shot him? Oh no, you. yeah, you could have. Sometimes the AI is also stupid. Like, he could have shot my mechanic and actually hurt me for, like, 16. But he didn't. For some reason, nobody knows. Whew. Yeah, now we're running into heat trouble though. 
Oh, he's actually overheated. He actually takes damage from overheating now. Hmm. Kill this one. They have like an aura. They are improved heaters. And all my units take 10 heat at the end of the turn in a 3 circle. He's really useless with this uh, interference debuff. Uh, this is a special mission where the node, as long as I don't destroy it, also applies interference to all my units every turn. So um, it reduces my damage by 35%. And he's the only one who is really affected by this, but you know, he's actually really affected and he doesn't do a whole lot while he's weakened. Oh, I did remove it before it happened. I think he wants to take a turn off. <laughs> he wants to have a vacation. And my Viper is actually getting heated by all the improved heater shots. So I have to watch out for it a little bit. Alright, he dealt with them. Spider is whatever. It still hurts him a little, but he's certainly affected by the interference. And walk out of here so I don't have like too much heat on you. <laughs> the bigger clap. <laughs> it happens so much to me that I just misclick in those games. Like it's not a very mechanical game, right? Let's be honest. But I still manage to misclick. Like how does this even happen? I don't know. You can't shoot anyone, huh? Bonked. Walk up here. The node is here. Alright. Once we kill this, uh, the mission is over. Well, the mission isn't over, but it turns into kill all the units that are still on the field. Hmm. And uh, the interference stops and stuff. That was a hard mission, you say. If you say so, game. I believe you. Another pyre. Is it a better version? So there are better and worse versions. Three plasma residue. This is the worst version. I feel like we have the level 2 pyre. This applies 3 debuffs, and our pyre has 7 debuffs per shot. That's fun. Applies 7 residue. We have what, a slasher, a plasma auto cannon. 10 to 15 damage times 3. Applies 2 plasma residue to self. Hmm. Plasma weapons always apply to self. Huh? There's a repeater. Increases the number of shots for burst weapons by 2. Increases the number of shots for burst weapons by 1. Scrub. <laughs> okay, um. So we can either get rid of bio steel frame, so we don't we have less movement, or of diffuse sensor. It adds damage right now. So min and max damage, but like the repeater is just 60 damage. And this is um 10 damage, right? So you could argue that you want like the min damage. This is now 20 damage. Like if you replace it with a bio steel, I guess that's 5 damage times 4. Uh, but we lose the 4 movement. I argue the 4 movement is better. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. Could argue both ways. Alright. Which one are we picking? Crucible? Plasma Residue? Times 3. Ah, oh, it hits 3 times. 20 heat to self. Plus 20 max heat. Uh, applies 1 Plasma Residue. That's terrible. Overclocked sensors, noise filtering, 
Squad units gain plus 5 min damage. Go, uh, Gauss Sniper. Gauss Sniper. Attacks ignore 30 armor, 7 to 9 damage, 2 internal damage. Piercing, so it's a line attack. Oh, it's a range 9 line attack. Interesting. AP rounds for 20. That seems pretty good. Hmm, I kind of want this. Do I? Maybe. Hmm, like the Brigandin could use that. The Brigandin is really uh, susceptible to armor, right? But we don't really care because this, the Paladin just takes care of armor. Yeah. Hmm, don't know. We have enough for upgrades, so we should upgrade someone. We have this one, all allies and 3 tile range, get minus 10 heat at the end of turn, which seems really good. Or we could go for more AP. We don't want the allies in 5 tile range repair hull. This is like pretty mediocre. I think we go for the other one. This one we don't need anymore. So now we need to mind our positioning a little bit more, but we do get rewarded for it. And I think we go for the oh, the rounds, 20 armor, mm. not this one, that's my auto cannon. 10 to 15 times 3 applies 2 plasma residue to self. Mm. Nothing else really makes sense here, like there's nothing good. We could go noise filtering, acid synthesizer, all weapons apply 10 corrosion. Hmm. 5 heat to self for each shot. <laughs> Let's do repel the assault. This is also prototype, so there are like, there's gonna be a special enemy type, which could be fun. Okay, this is an assault mission, so this is. Oh, this is like the range now, right? For like the, um, for my upgrade. The red circle. All allies in 3 tile range, minus 10 heat. Cool. So this is an assault mission. Um, you usually spawn in the middle room and there are a lot of like small rooms attached. And enemies spawn in for 4 turns. And there's matter lying around, which is the money uh, you can pick up. And after four turns of spawning in, you need to destroy all of them. There's a heater. We don't want to fight in this room. I want to do like a little bit of scouting to see which room I want to fight in. Uh, and there are enemies. But what is this? Why is this red? Why is this red? Oh, because improved heater, I see. So those are just spawning in if they are like uh, blurry like this. They're just teleporting in. So they take one turn to get ready. I like to like bounce on one side, one wave, and just fight them straight up. This is probably the uh, the room we want to fight in, the cooler. Uh, I think you want to avoid the middle room because you get swarmed from all sides. And like just fighting them straight up reduces the overall enemies we have to fight later on. So it seems like a good idea. Do you have the same rewards available? Wait, what do you mean with the same rewards? Um, like you get random rewards. They reroll every turn. And... Also, the things you can buy also reroll every turn. You should do missions with the golden gear to get possible rolls and higher tier stuff. I mean, I think the uh, the missions stay the same throughout the tier. Like you can pick six of them, but I like for my feeling, uh, the they all stay the same, but they reroll their um, their rewards every turn. So, I don't know, maybe it's better to pick like easier missions, right? Because the higher missions like um, have better rewards and they like reset every time. I don't know what's better. He survived with 1 HP. <laughs> I 
there's another squad teleporting in, but they take one turn to set up again. <laughs> Four shots. Alright. That's my Viper. He just face tanks everything. There's nothing here. Alright. This is a repair station and a cooler. A double cooler? Wow, this is very strong to fight in. That's matter. Mm, I don't have to greet for this right now. Okay, just sit here. He's just gonna survive with his 1 HP. Hmm. Actually gets a shot off. Sure. <laughs> Point blank sniper rifle shot into your face. Hmm. You can just walk in, right? The heaters both die. Then we have a spider here. Hmm. Wants to walk down here though, but the heaters are gonna shoot him. I want to avoid heating up as much as possible. Yeah, he actually goes down here and then we're gonna destroy this wall and he comes down. This was good. What's your range? Four. Okay. Seems like a bit of overkill on this one, but <laughs> sure, shoot it right in the eye. We can take this one now. So this is just matter. This is just money on the ground, and you have five turns to pick it up. It's kind of a bonus. If you're greedy and you pick it up, then I mean, good on you. And I'm sure there's like matter all around, like up here. But this one we were not gonna get. We're gonna like gather in this uh, in this room and just to focus on actually surviving the mission. We can destroy all the walls and cooling him down for an additional ten every turn seems very good. Like those are like the. Um, I don't know. Uh, special. What do you call them? Stuff on the floor. <laughs> I don't know. Which, uh, like, has a special effect. And this one cools us down. There's a heater here. Uh, here. Uh, 10 heat each turn, uh, 3 tiles around. And this, uh, this room is very good to fight in because we have a repair station at the beginning now and a cooler for continuous cooling us down. I don't think it matters, like, this mission seems pretty easy so far. We haven't seen the prototype yet, so there has to be um, one special enemy type we haven't seen yet. Devastators, a sharpshooter. Is this the special one? What do you do? Um, 100 hull. Sharpshooter weapon. Uh, 30 to 15, range 9. Attacks, ignore 10 armor, applies 3 prop damage and 3 interference. What? You're terrible. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, that's a high tier unit? Really? That's terrible. Hmm. Do so much damage. How oh, is this legal? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, the positioning gets really annoying, huh? <laughs> like, not annoying, but I have a lot to think about. With, like, the... What's it called? The all allies gain minus 10 heat in a 3 tile radius. Why is it still here? <laughs> it doesn't disappear anymore. And now the assault is over. Yeah, it actually doesn't disappear, huh? 
Okay, now it's gone. Uh, the assault is over, so everything that spawned in we need to kill now. So we have 8 left, and then once everything is dead, we survive the mission. Oh shit, I... Hmm. I forgot he is like the one... Who cools us down. Whatever. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna find out soon what happens now. We're almost done with uh, tier 2. I forgot if this was the last mission on tier 2 or the second to last. But... The first time we went to tier 2, we got insta gift on a mission. Because we have new units and me being a scrub. <laughs> this guy is really taking off. Once he gets his tier 3 upgrade, he's gonna be pretty incredible. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all this, uh, all this heat on him. Ah, it's whatever. I could have just one tapped him, right? He has a hundred HP, but it's fine. He dies to overheating, uh, to overheating now. Overheation, something like that. He's like permanently cooled down. I mean, he's at in a cooler with a mechanic around him. Mm. And he spends 20 heat every turn, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Mm. Not quite dead. Oh shit, uh, yo, kill this for me so I can see him. <laughs> Alright, destroying walls is very cool. It adds a lot of layers to it. Tier 3. Alright, no easy missions anymore, only normal ones. No hard ones though. I have no idea what happens now. I've never been this far. But tier 3 only has 3 mission progress. Okay, not 6 anymore. Uh, we have like a repair gel, caravan, thermal compound, force cannon, synthesizer. Hmm, nothing special. Anything new we can buy? Um, auto cannon, laser cannon, reactor. Applies 1 interference to self each turn. Interesting. I wonder how this interacts with uh, cleansing. Um, on my Viper, I have Nullifier. At the end of each turn, removes all status effects. I wonder like, if it applies after or before. Like, Does it apply at the end of the turn and then I instantly remove it? Or do I remove status effects and then I get interference still? Because, uh, like, this way it would be free AP. He doesn't really use AP that well. Like, he would use 2 AP, but not 1. So it's not really a point, but I just wanna... I'm just curious. So he can gain 1 more AP, which would be quite a big deal. Uh, and the Brigandine upgrade is also pretty big. Not the next one, but this one. If the unit has moves left, increase the number of shots for burst weapons by 2. So he can use his burst weapon for 6 shots. And he actually swords really hard. Uh, we want to do, at the end of each turn, remove one status effect. Uh, he shoots six times, so he doesn't immobilize stuff, he just kills stuff. I think. If the unit has moves left, minus 25 feet applied at the end of turn. 
That seems also good, but this is what we're doing, so. Uh, we can get 160, right, for this upgrade. We have, like, AP rounds. I, th I don't think we need them. Oh, those are, like, scrubby AP rounds. We can get rid of them now. The cannon is gone, probably, so we can get this upgrade now. Okay. What are the last wiper upgrades? Um, Non-burst weapon, apply 8 corrosion. <laughs> that seems... That seems kind of mediocre. Non-burst weapon apply 15 armor breach. Uh, corrosion is a damage over time effect. So every time I hit someone, I apply eight uh, like damage at the end of turn and it stacks. But I don't know, stuff dies too quickly for that. Then we can get max hull. Reasonable. Mm, okay. Which one do we do? It doesn't really matter, does it? Nothing... Like, sticks out. We don't really want any of those. Force cannon. Hmm. Is this like a higher version? Like a better version? No. It's like the same version. This is the version we already have. We don't want a second one. Rapier. Automatically shoots back at the attacker up to two times per turn. Applies hmm. two immobilize upon dealing damage. Does not require AP, but applies heat. So you can get up to 60 heat per turn. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to do activate the defense. It's like a real annoying mission. It's do the one that awards 69 matter. Nice. Hellkite? The fuck are you? That's certainly a new unit. Alright. 135 hull, 4 armor, 200 heat. Okay, no overheating this one. Hellkite Weapon 1. <laughs> what a name. Um, 30 heat upon dealing damage. Okay, so it doesn't do any damage, but it heats me up for 30. Hellcat weapon 2, 5 damage, cooldown 4, 60 heat up on dealing damage. I see. And nullifier, immune to status effect. So, you're gonna heat me up for 30 every turn, and like every 4 turns, you double that. You don't do any damage though. Okay. It's pretty significant. Like, uh, two of them or something can really mess you up. Bonked. Okay. Any other units? An operator. Okay. Uh, 130, 12 armor. Operator weapon. Ignore armor, apply armor breach. Okay. And a repair kit for 35 hull. Doesn't uh, remove status effects though. Has a double move. And this is just armor. Hmm. Okay, so this is an anti armor unit. The stacks anti armor debuffs on you, but we don't care because we remove debuffs. And another Hellkite, same as this one. Okay. Hmm. We cannot uh, heat up Hellkites. What is your heat? A hundred? We can heat up operators. Mm, where's my mechanic? I don't think he can reach, can he? <laughs> 28? You serious? We hit 32 minus armor? Wow. That's a... Uh, 30% to not kill, huh? Unfortunate. Well, kind of have to do this now. Gross overkill. <laughs> I need to kite hell out of it. <laughs> 
30. Why did it not use its super good attack? It gets off cooldown, right? Why did it not use the, the weapon too? And only heated me up for 30. I don't understand this part. Oh my god. Now I mentioned two more shots. He would even out damage the sniper, wouldn't he? That's disgusting. Can I just heat him up? <laughs> I feel so powerful. Okay, this is the mission objective, and this is the squad. Assailant, what do you do? Assailant weapon automatically shoots back at the attacker. Ooh. Whenever this unit damages an opponent, gain 2 damage up to maximum of 10. So you're like, huh? You're like a retaliation unit, huh? But it only has 5 range. So... I cannot shoot back at me if I stand out of range, right? So if I snipe it down from 7 range, it doesn't really do anything. Does 160 HP? 7 armor? Huh. That's a lot of armor. It's a lot of HP. What are you fabricating? Manufacturing. A suppressor every 3 turns in your repair station. I still have like almost no HP though. Alright. Anything here? Nothing here. Man, my tank is so slow. My tank is the only unit that doesn't have double move and it really shows. It really feels slow. They're active, right? Yeah, they're active. They're coming for me. They're coming for my booty. My robot booty. Is this a repair gel? Sure. There's an operator here. Hmm. That feels like another squad, huh? Like, there shouldn't be an operator here unless there is another squad here somewhere. You have 7 turns to kill this. That's fine. Hmm, he's active. Maybe he was part of them. Maybe it wasn't 3 Asylums, but 2 Asylums and an Operator? Could have been, yeah. Yeah, certainly looks like it. Hmm. What are the Operator uh, heat-wise? 100? They're pretty heatable. Hmm. Can I kill you somehow? Hmm. Spend my heavy weapon, I guess. It's not really good against that. Yeah. They only attack once, right? They only shoot back once. Yeah, once per turn. Hmm. <laughs> my tank. I'm here, I'm helping. So, he doesn't shoot back here, right? Because I'm out of range. Hmm. What is your range? Six. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> Can't shoot back if you're not in range. Let me just cook him. Oh, 
Oh, he did shoot back, didn't he? Yeah, he shot me back there. I skipped over that a little bit. Wait, how did you... Do Suppressor suddenly do damage? Oh, 7 to 9. I guess he hit my squishy brigand then. Eh, that's fair, I suppose. The 3 AP really help him out. Like, it's a really big deal if you can cook them in one turn or two turns. I feel like there are a lot of breakpoints in this game. Another one. You really want to be here? I didn't think so. Wow, we stomped this mission. 69. Nice. Filter module. Ooh. I can let the other one crit also. I have to check this. There's countermeasures. That's also very interesting. Overclocked sensors, man. Thermal compounds, nanites. So. Hmm. The Brigand then. You don't have double moves for it by default, so you actually need double moves. So we're gonna go um number of shots for burst weapons by two. What is your crit? I think your crit is plus ten damage, right? Do we need crit on this one? Well those are those are mandatory, right? The num like the two burst shots in the module. I don't think we can actually use that. Like, I would like to give him crit as well. Filter module. Because it synergizes with the other one. He gains two more burst shots if he has moves left. And he gets 100 crit if he has moves left. And then the crit would actually add 60 damage per attack, I think. It's 10 damage for a crit. Uh, times how many shots you have and we have six shots so it would add 60 damage but then we would lose our second move and then most of the time we don't get to attack at all I feel like six moves are plenty and I would rather keep my second move I think that's fine we don't ever need repair gel five hull each turn plus ten max hull that's level two but we are we'd never need that I think the sensors are also out they have like outgrown. We're gonna hang on to the AP rounds probably. Hmm. So we're gonna go for. Oh, there's one more. So repair kit. We're gonna go for the countermeasures. When a squad unit is attacked, apply two interference to the attacker. Seems cool. Interference is the weak effect. We don't have enough for an upgrade, huh? How much do you need? This is my, the most important upgrade. Uh, we can probably afford it after this one. It's fine. It feels like this is the last tier. I'm not quite sure. Maybe there's like a final mission or something. We will find out. Okay. Uh... There are X's. There are X's too, okay. X's mean there is nothing nothing else there. We don't see anything. We need to find the node. We gain interference every turn, we don't find the node. Just the usual stuff. We have right side and left side. Hellkite. He's not active yet. here and 
and the tank lags behind. Okay, we should activate the squad here. So let's see who else is there. Repairman, Hellkite, Operator. We've seen all those units, it's fine. I kind of want to check here, but I don't want to no alert another squad. I'm looking for the mission objective. Maybe it's a little bit greedy to walk over here. I think it is. Let's just go here and like, clean out here. That's plenty. You're not interfered with. <laughs> Smack him. Wait, you haven't shot? Oh, you have shot. You just haven't moved. Okay. Suppress so server repairman. Hmm, those are active. There's no node over here. Operator Overlord. Oof. Scary. Uh, 145 hull. Zero armor. 75 heat. Overlord Cannon. Automatically shoots back at the attack up to two times. Range 4. Ignore 10 armor. 10 to 11 damage. Meh. Adaptive armor. Meh. Not very scary. Reasonably. Might have to break this wall for my paladin to fire through. Right, what do you have? A suppressor, a sharpshooter, two suppressors, a repairman. And I want to break this wall. Shit, it didn't break. Also, I'm out of moves. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've watched this turn really hard. Oh my god, that's actually bad. <laughs> well. Okay, um, you have shots left and yeah, yeah, you have moves left, okay. You also have moves left. Eh, it's fine. I mean, you get hit by the sharpshooter. You'll survive. Oh, you get hit by the sharpshooter. Okay. Wait, did he pin me down? Oh yeah, those units. Sharpshooter has 120 heat now. I think we'd rather just one tap him. Hmm. Can't actually see him here. Wow. Annoying. It doesn't kill him. He's, uh,. Interfered with, yeah. Ugh. I should have played this turn so much differently. Whatever, you get to hit me again, you win. <laughs> there you go.
Hmm. Can't see them yet. Oh shit, that's my tank. Hmm. I messed up which unit I wanted to move there. It's fine. We're gonna wait for them so we don't get pincered. Uh, there's a good chance we're gonna activate another squad or not run there. Maybe that's the last one actually, because there's no more cooldown. I think that's the last one. That's how it should work. Overlord coming in. Ooh, the sniper. The sniper is so. I don't even know. He shoots me back. <laughs> Cute. Here, I have a needle. Needle finally being useful again. Sometimes. And there's the objective. Seems like that's the last one. It makes sense, otherwise uh, the squad counter would be active. Oh, there was another room. Countermeasures. Alright, let's throw them on. Finally, a, th a fourth uh, squad upgrade. <laughs> it took a long time. Alright, two out of three. Repeater. Heavy reactor. Plasma infuser. Place two plasma residue up and dealing damage. Hmm. Maybe. Um, we could give it to the mechanic, right? So his pyre would apply 9 plasma residue. Sometimes it it helps killing stuff and we can get rid of repair kit. It's kind of like not needed anymore. Give him improved cooling for now. Let's get rid of it so the brigandine can get his upgrade. So he can actually kill stuff. And then we get this one. Seems okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even check the difficulty. Was it normal? I think it was normal. Viper. Hmm. I want to first move with break and anything. Hellkite. Repair gel, sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I can't actually see him. This is a joke. Apparently not. Okay. How about now? What else do we have? What is this? Pest? Pest weapon? Huh. Two prop damage, restricts movement, and three corrupted data. Temporary effect, each turn deals one damage per stack, ignoring armor. Automatically retreats when fired upon up to one times per turn. So whenever I hit it, it runs away, six tiles. That's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I see, I see. Mm. 
It doesn't let me hit you with a pyre, right? No. I need to protect my paladin from being um, suppressed. That really hinders him. I don't care about the mechanic being suppressed that much. The pest has like zero heat. If I get on him with my mechanic, he dies instantly. So how does this work? Hm. Didn't retreat, did he? <laughs> Certainly didn't look like it. Hmm. The data fades instantly though. So it's not really a big deal. This is a closed room, so... Just hit it and walk. Six shots. <laughs> uh, do we know where it is? Oh, okay. Um, this is the squad that awakened. Has an overlord and two operators. And this fabricates suppressors or manufacturers. Do I want to walk in here? Hmm, it's a little bit risky. I right, he's very far ahead of the the other ones, so I feel like walking in there is a little bit much. <laughs> Tank last as usual. Perfect. One needle enough. It is. Hm, okay. Good old overlord. I want to go here, but I don't want to block my shots, so we're going to go here, I think. Ow. I could have outranged that, couldn't I? Pretty sure I could have. Oh well. The music is surprisingly cool. No, I know it's the same, like, it's the same track on the loop and stuff, but it doesn't get, it didn't really get annoying yet. I'm kind of jamming to it. That's all you can ask for it, right? Like, a, a game you play for a longer amount of time, the, the track doesn't get annoying. <laughs> and if it doesn't, that's probably good enough.
<laughs> um, he overkills them so hard. Oh, I didn't move my tank. Hmm. Oh, that's all that's left. I guess. Oh, well, the missions are so easy now. Infected units are gathering for the final assault. Defend the mainframe. Oh, baby. Alright. Final mission. Three matter if I win. Difficulty? Hard. Alright. Didn't get all my upgrades, did I? No. He's missing two and he's missing one. Uh, What am I missing? 1 AP or 5 holy shit. It would be 1 AP or 190. And what would you get? Like, nothing really matters here. Like, 20 hull, sure, but whatever. Can we get to 190? I don't think so. We have 42. We have the plasma infuser. I think I want to swap, swap that, right? Do I? I have a lot of heat per turn, but you have also this minus 20. Minus 25. You have like, usually, if you triple pyre, you have 45 heat per turn. We can either do Plasma Infuser for two more uh, debuffs, so this is six more stacks of Plasma Residue per turn. Or we can do Improved Heating, Improved Cooling. I think Cooling is probably even better. But this still doesn't add up for another upgrade. And we get an upgrade here. 150, apply 8 Corrosion. Not quite. I was too lazy to do math. <laughs> so I just sold it. Alright, final mission. Let's see it. I'm intrigued. Numerous infected unit signature detected. Prepare for the final assault. Ooh, the music. It's a banger. Prevent the AI core destruction. Survive the assault. Four turns left. Dun, dun, dun. AI core. It has 150 hull, no armor. What is this? Nullifier. Immune to status. Okay. And then what else? We have a repair station here, repair station here. We have centurions, uh, which are helping us. Okay. Uh, so we cannot, so we have to fight in this way, like in this hallway, right? Or in this room, because of this AI core we need to protect. Okay. So let's go scouting. A little bit at least. We don't see anything. We do want to stay in this room though. But, it, like, try a little bit of vision, I think. There's nothing here, so this is kind of kind of a safe spot. It's good to know. There's much less safe spots here. We have coolers here, so we kind of want to fight here, but then this leaves this open. Maybe the Viper like stands up here. It's gonna check everything from here. Okay. Um, where did you end up? Don't know. I think I want him over here. I think I want to split up my DPS a little bit. Alright, let's see it. What do you got? Nothing. Very impressive. Okay, let's see it here. Nothing here. I'm sure there will be something eventually. But the more vision we can grab, the more advanced warning we have for waste spawning in is my like train of thought. So like grabbing vision seems pretty okay. Where do you want to be? Don't know. Sit here for now. 
Nah. Be like in the middle to see where we go. Don't see anything yet. Why are you... <laughs> You're... Oh my god. I hate my allies already. Why are you running out there? Okay. We have a wave to the northeast. It's like four units or something. Hmm. And we have another one spawning in here. Suppressor, pest, Hellkite, operator, suppressor, pest. Hellkite, Hellkite, this is my ally, yeah. Can I shoot someone? I would like to shoot someone, please. Mm, they're all up here. This is all clear for now. Okay. Let's get in position. Sitting here seems fine. Mm, he needs to have a better position. He can be here for now. He's gonna move, right? Here. Is he vulnerable from this? What's your range? Uh, 5 and 5. No. It's fine, like, sitting here, so he can snipe next turn. It's fine, it's fine. We will sit like this. I'm not protecting my allies, like, fuck those guys. <laughs> honestly. They'll, they're, do they're doing, like, quite a lot of damage, honestly, but there's no saving them. They're just suicidal. More up here. Opponent squad is teleporting. Okay. That means more are coming. Uh, where are they? Not here. Not here. Probably up there or something. Hmm. I want to go here, I think. So the suppressor... The suppressor cannot reach me. It's very important that he doesn't get suppressed, I think. It's all nothing here, so I should move from this direction. Into somewhere where I can actually do something. Hmm. He can't reach anyone. It's annoying. If I shoot this, I probably can, right? Oh wait, he just one-tapped him. I didn't even need the mechanic uh, stuff on him. Alright, he wants to go over here. Like, most of it is incoming, and it seems like I need a tank over here. At least they are good scouting units. Like, at least they give me vision and information. My allies, that is. Oh no, he suppressed me. Fuck. That's so bad. I didn't think, yeah, he totally reaches. Okay. Mm I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm not one shot anymore. Still one shot? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> How did I one shot him with weak on me? Does it not apply to crit bonus damage? That must be the case because there's no way I one shot this. Like, it, it, it's just not possible. Huh. There's more teleporting in here. Operator, Overlord, Operator. Okay. It's getting crowded in here, not gonna lie. Hmm. You can one tap this, can't you? You can. But you can't walk back. Fuck. That was bad. 
Uh, I mean, those are all teleporting again. Only the suppressed and the health are active. Maybe it was okay. Shit. Eh, nah. I've done better moves. They want to go over here. There are three here. There are a lot more up here. I think they want to be here. And maybe you move closer. If you move in here, you use the repair station. I feel like I want to keep this. Repair station has two charges and within three tiles it's gonna heal me for eight. But I don't want him to be healed right now. He's like pretty full HP. Just a little bit injured. Let's be here. There's another room here. Destroy all enemy units. 15 left. Okay. So I just need to kill everything on the map and that win. Easy. It's a lot of units though, not gonna lie. More here, okay. Are the operators the one with... no, they don't shoot back. They are the armor breaches, right? Yeah. Okay. He's gone already. Oh my god, <laughs> calm down there. The six shots are insane. He out damages the sniper, which is quite the achievement. And he is really annoying right now. Like he's blocking all my good shots. I can shoot the, the operator from here, interesting. No, I can't. Ugh. Why did it tell me I could? Oh, I can shoot him with a needle. Oh, it's out of range. Shit. I feel like I want to destroy this wall, so he has a good shot here. At least. Nah, I want to sit here. I want to kill the Hellkite. I feel like the Hellkite is more important. Uh, getting overheated uh, seems like very detrimental. And then he can go forever. Here, he's gone. There's a lot of incoming. Okay. Why don't you shoot the Hellkite, who's almost dead? You will never understand. Shoots my ally, that's good. Shoots my ally, very good. I like that. Overlord shoots the wall. I feel like I can snipe this pest. Okay, they're coming. There's more. I want to clear up right side so I can focus on top side, I feel. Okay. Pest is very vulnerable uh, against heat. Let's see how much we need, actually. Okay, we killed one of them. Where do we want to end up? Got three more over there. Two more, because this is dead. This one shoots back, right? Overlord Cannon shoots back in the range 4. Uh, here. So, if I shoot it from here, it cannot shoot back. I don't... Do I actually one-shot this? Oh no, against armor. It has reactive. Well... No one-shot. Oh, fuck. 
Hmm. It actually... Hmm, that's a problem. Fuck. I always forget that he has four moves back. That's really bad, actually. He needed six moves back. I think what I'm gonna do is kill this wall. So he can move here, and he can move up here as the tank. And just front line. It should be fine. Dun, dun, dun. I think he goes here. Block for him. Hmm. This is gonna be a rough round. It's fine. My tank is really strong. But they are applying corrupted data, which I'm gonna cleanse. I'm not sure if it like damages me before. Oof, that was the 60 heat shot. Yikes. Okay. He cleansed the the pests. That's very strong. Uh, the Hellkite needs to go. Then he can like frontline pretty reliably. And those two who are flanking me also need to go really badly. I can one tap him and I can kill him also. So that seems good. He actually doesn't die to that. Annoying. Well, he gets one more shot off. What does it do? 45 damage. And gives me corrupted data. Eh, whatevs. You got me. I need to kill this one, the Hulk guy. I don't have prop damage right- I, I have prop damage right now. The Overlord shoots back, right? And it does what? Ignores 10 armor? How much damage? 67. It actually damages me. Don't really like that. If I would move back, I could shoot him and then walk. Right? I don't have double moves, but I still have the one move. And it would... Would it kill him? No. And he would also shoot me back? I don't think that's worth it. I think I actually want to move back and no. Sitting here is nice. The only issue is the um, the Hellkite. I need to get to him. If I shoot this one. Let's try this. Do I get access? I do. Nice. Okay. So this one is gone. Then we can like... Do you still have moose? No. Mm, that's a problem. It can be here and here. It's the best we can do. Okay. He's gonna get another shot off. But now he's get he's dead. And I don't need to worry. Shut the brigand in. Nine left on the field. Whew, he repaired the overlord. Stupid operator. Okay, so this one is dead. Uh, damn, that sucks so much that he's back up. I was about to snipe him, but now not so much. Overheating him is also difficult. I can overheat this operator, right? I wanna shoot the suppressor, I think. And pro probably run all the way back. He cannot be focus fired. And I want to like s slightly retreat. I mean I can overload. Mm. I mean I can overheat them in two turns. And maybe it's worth it, I'm not sure. He's prop damage, right? But he gains adaptive. Hmm. 
I think I want to just shoot the operator four times and then block with him again. He can still shoot me here, but... Alright. This one dies. Seven left. Those two get big hits in. Hmm. Yeah. It's getting... It's getting dicey with the brigand in. It's fine. Okay. Now I should be able to kill him. This one with heat. Yeah. He's done. Okay. Now I need to deal with this overlord. I need to stay out of his range for sure when I shoot him. Hmm. Okay, his range is 4, right? Yeah. Hmm. I can't walk here, right? He doesn't reach me. I don't want him to counter-attack me as well. And I shot him with this one first, because this one ignores armor. But once he has armor, this brigand doesn't do anything, so this uh, should now one-shot him. And I'm safe here. This one dies. And... He can just stand here. Uh, I can take, like, the heal from this one, right? Cool. This has no charges left. Five enemies. Couple pests. One suppressor, one operator. Operator almost dead. Let's take nine damage on me, but I just cleanse it. <laughs> Man, the cleanse is so necessary and also so OP at the same time. Did we win? I think we won. Alright, show it to me. Oh boy. Three achievements. The virus has been purged from what system? <laughs> Game design and coding by Shifty Code. Hey, good job, Shifty Code. Good old credits. <laughs> Redman. <laughs> Train Cat. The music is really cool. Obviously, the um, the graphics <laughs> are really retro and like kind of hard to look at at times, but you get a little bit used to it. But the music I actually like. Unread files available. Investigation files. What does it say? Is it lore? Email. We've tracked Markov's network. After three freaking years, we've got it. We're finally getting our payback for Markov's price dumping. We've taken everything from the servers. I don't think they will be able to trace this back to us. But even if they did, Markov won't admit it out of reach this big to their investors. They're still putting together the retrieved files. But the race in the hole is some kind of AI from Mythos. According to Malek, it is still in early development, but he is already impressed with the hardware. If we had had Markov's employees to speed up the tech adoption, we might be able to push this tech first. This thing can save our warboard program. Hmm. It, it feels like a little bit out of place, I don't know. There's lore missing somehow. What is this? 
the Paladin B with a laser cannon and scouting equipment. Hmm. More? Oppressor A? Ooh, is this new? I don't have an oppressor yet, do I? For a second move range, 5 heat. Oh, that's weak. It's not even 6 move range. Our weapon apply 1 internal damage. Cool. Apply 2 corrosion. Apply 1 internal damage. Or non burst 8 corrosion. Uh, increases number of shots for burst weapon by 1. Okay. Whenever status effect damages an opponent, gain 1 damage up to 15. Cool. Biosteel armor and needle. Another one. Atlas B with Cobra. What's a Cobra? 1 to 6 damage, 1 AP, plus 6 corrosion, and a reactor. Okay. Another one. Shiver 1. Slasher and welding kit. Another one. Jaeger B. Wow. It's a new one. The unit has moves left, adds 5 max damage to own weapons. Hmm. That's 10 min damage, 2nd move, 40 crit, 15 armor, 80 crit. Hmm. Nah, okay. Carabin, the diffuse, cool. 3200 research points, 18 missions completed. 254 units killed. Nice. I wanna spend my research points. <laughs> I just want to. Alright, let's buy some random stuff. Um, the unit has moves left. Increase the number of shots for burst weapon by 2. Preloader. Isn't this just a worse repeater? Probably. Biosteel frame 2. Exposed reactor. 2 AP minus 15 max health. This is so good. Wow. It's incredible. The caravan. Mm, that's a worse version. Repulsor field. All enemies in fortile range. 10 damage is dealt ignoring all armor at the end of the turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine this on a tank. You just stand there and then smack them. Biosteel 2. Cobra. This one seems cool. Drag Vandal. 8 to 10 damage times 5. Ooh. Crisis cooling. Um, MP302. 50 to 65 damage. Hmm. 3 turn cooldown. Bird's gun. Nanite Hive. All enemy in fortile range apply one internal damage at the end of each turn. Oh my god. I want this. Abolisher armor. Autoloader. Until end of turn increase the number of shots for burst weapon by two. Isn't this isn't this just a uh, a worse preloader also? Or like a less uh, a worse repeater? All enemy in fortile range, minus 35 damage for all weapons. Ooh, nice. Decomposer, autoloader, Bane. 16 corrosion to immobilize. <laughs> Very good synergy. 30 armor ignore. <laughs> and right next to it, the lesser version. <laughs> Why would you unlock this one? I don't understand this part. Why would you unlock this one when you can unlock this one? Nobody knows. 10 heat upon dealing damage. Better buy a steel. It's 20% damage to own weapons. Huh. Interesting. Second move range, max hall. Laser enforcer. Or you shoot back up to 3 times, ignoring 20 armor, plus 7 heat. <laughs> Interesting. Power bank. 
Use an other allies. Use cost 1 AP, give them 2 AP. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Focus laser, flux, abolisher, nemesis. Uh, here, the nemesis. 100% crit damage. Ooh. This unit ignores overheat damage. What? Holy fuck. That's insane. You, you just ignore heat as like a mechanic? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Non-burst weapon at 50% damage to own weapon. Apply one plasma residue to self each turn. <laughs> Preloader. He's on self. 3 AP, 3 turn cooldown. This seems really cool. It seems like a think a lot thing. 4 armor, 20 max hull. Hmm. All allies in 6 tile range, 3 armor. Hmm. Acid auto cannon. Applies 3 corrosion. Uh, applies 3 corrosion upon dealing crit damage. Uh, 3 times, crit 50%. I see. Cool. Unstable Reactor. Uh, 4 AP deals 10 damage to self-ignoring armor at the end of the turn after this item is used. Hmm. Okay. guess. Deals 20 damage to self. That seems reasonable. Place 2 uh, internal damage after dealing damage. Cool. Repairs 4 to 7 health each turn. Hmm. I feel like we saw most of it. Minus 30 heat applied at the end of the turn applies to plasma residue. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. One corrosion for each armor. Oh, I don't have 200. This is cool. Huh? We unlocked 151 out of 188, so we saw like most of this stuff, I think. There are actually more units, uh, but I feel like most of them are just a mixture of stuff, right? Like, the starting uh, equipment doesn't super matter. The only thing that really matters are the upgrades. Like, all the... Um, um, the whole difference of, like, the squad units is just, like, the upgrades. Everything is interchangeable, and it doesn't matter who carries what. Only those are permanent, and those, like, it seems like there's nothing new with the unlocked units, like the suppressor, right? All of those we've seen before, it's just a different constellation. I don't know. I don't think this is enough for, uh, to want me, like, to make me want to play the game again. I feel like I experienced the game. I saw it. And it was pretty cool, but I wouldn't want to play it again. <laughs> I figured it out in my mind. Yeah, but it was cool. Uh, how long did I play it? Let me check. Played it for 15 hours. Paid 8 euros for it. Pretty reasonable. I would buy it again. I liked it. But this is it for, like, both for today. I'm gonna be off, I'm gonna be eat, go eat something. And also for this game, I'm not gonna play it again, I don't think. So I'll be back to Earth Dark tomorrow or something. Or maybe something else, we will see. Depending on the mood. Thanks so much for hanging out and enjoying like a very obscure game with me. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Hope you have a good Saturday. And if you want, I'll see you guys tomorrow.